She were right for me Was told she'd be the end of me I swore we'd never meet Now she's my favorite accessory And she's in the hair I breathe oh, oh. She calls and asks me to meditate She taught me how to levitate And together we fly
she's made Oh no, she'll never change There's loads of things that I'd like to say But she locks them inside my brain oh. She's like my own, but she'll not follow Where I always see a lot of us Some people say I got a line To be less of a connoisseur It's only gonna make you wish you met you up on my words But they don't get that that I'd be fine by now That you'd be out of my mind Thought I would forget the sound Of your key in the door at midnight But clearly God is wrong If you were gone I wouldn't hear you like a song on repeat I know I've been better off all alone Or at least I'm trying to be Sometimes I still feel your touch When I close my eyes, I do Cause I know if I give you up Then you might really be gone for good But clearly you're the one that's holding on Tighten my grip, try to relieve the memories I know I'd be better off all alone Cause loving you is the end of me Hey everybody, welcome on in for round two of Life is Strange for today. Um, 
I'm really excited. I'm really excited to jump on back in, see where our story here is going. I, I cannot wait to see where this freaking story is going. But I will preface, <laughs> if you're here, get your tissues ready. Because <laughs> this has been a shit show so far. <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. It's like, it's, it's the good kind of, like, it's good storytelling. It's traumatic, but it's really freaking good storytelling. Uh, which is is not always something like sometimes you'll see stories that are like traumatic just for the sake of being traumatic This doesn't feel like that. This feels like really solid storytelling and I'm really into it I'm really invested in seeing where this goes um, So I'm gonna hop on back into the game And I think I think this is gonna be a really good time. I think I think we're gonna get some answers Let me turn off Spotify and I am going to hop right back in. Oh, there was a Kakuna. A little Kakuna. All right. So um, we're right we're right where we left off. I haven't even turned the game off because we only stopped playing a couple hours ago. Um, I do want to read. Ooh. Ooh, there's a lot more stuff. Okay. So there's three more entries. Uh, Eleanor, Fear. I feel like this one's going to be. I feel like this one's going to be a rough one. The Eleanor section was was definitely really emotionally, tr I want to say triggering. I'm sure there's probably a lot of folks out there who will, will have a really resounding, uh, of, I would say effect, but sentimental attachment to this character after the, the segment we went through earlier. Um, so let me just read through these quickly. Uh, Eleanor, fear. Think about those times you forgot what you were about to say or why you went into a room or someone's name who you've met a million times. We call it a brain fart, which is a funny term for all your synapses suddenly malfunctioning. In reality, it's one of the, one of the most helpless feelings there is. That's what Eleanor felt in the flower shop, only more so. It was a quiet, unknowing terror. It takes a special kind of person to handle that without breaking down. Eleanor is strong, s stubborn too, but strong as hell. If I wasn't able to see her aura, I may never have known. I let her out of the fog. What a relief, but then she didn't remember Gabe's death, and my stomach dropped about three stories into the floor. Telling her was agony, seeing it all over again like it was just happening. Was the truth worth the price? I don't know. I, I have a feeling we're going to find out. I'm a little bit concerned about that, Joyce. Thinking about it now, I feel powerless all over again. Everything is becoming so out of order. All my memories are fading. They'll make me close this place. It hurts to think of what's to come when I no longer know this place. And all I hear are fading drums and I cannot recall your face. Okay, so that's that's Eleanor. Uh, Ryan Rage. Ryan's anger had teeth. It was sharp, savage, self-directed, a rabid animal with its prey cornered. Because he was convinced he had earned that anger, he was ready to submit to it. To let it eat him alive. It was strange finding the shape of Gabe in the absence he'd left behind. I want more of Gabe than I got. Ryan got, Ryan got it. A whole Gabe, a Gabe who breathed and took up space, and then the knife, the rope, the ravine, the only thing in the world. He hated himself. I told him the truth, that Gabe would have forgiven him, that he wasn't alone. My job is to keep people safe, not a hero, a coward, dead because of me. Can't shake the thought that you're dead because of me, and you're not here to forgive. I don't know how to go where the dead folks go. But I also don't know how to live. And then this is also Ryan, but this is Joy. Oh, Joy. Joy, we get, we get a happy one. <laughs> how do I even start? That gold glow, the way the pain and tension gradually fell away from Ryan's face, and then the laughter, the private joy of the moment when Ryan chose to turn a dumb mistake into a prank, the truth he had for Gabe, or the trust he had for Gabe. Hey, Anna, welcome on back. How you doing? How was the, the last couple hours for you? I'm really glad to see you back. How are you? 
Oh, Bo, you're here too. Oh, I'm really glad because I know you've been enjoying the story. I was worried that that I started and and you weren't around. Because I know you've you've gotten you've gotten somewhat invested just like me. So I'm I'm glad that you're here. Oh, I'm doing fantastic. I had some some nice glizzies for dinner, which I dropped a picture in the Discord <laughs> of my my glizzies that I used to refuel all from all that all that emotional. <laughs> The emotional tension that was laid on us during that last playthrough. <laughs> so, Bo, we're we're in this we're in this together. We're gonna we're gonna see this through to the end. We're gonna see that this mystery is solved. Hope I hope it has. I really hope it has a good ending. Although, Life is Strange doesn't have a history of good endings. Uh, the love, the certain knowledge that he could fuck with Gabe and get away with it, that Gabe would love him for it. I pieced it together, found it in the clouds, the goose, the car, the grave, and for just a minute, I got to have the sort of relationship with Gabe that Ryan had. I feel so fucking grateful for that. This morning, I thought I'd only ever know people through their pain. I thought I could live with that. If it, if it meant helping people... If it meant helping people honoring honoring Gabe, but then this joy like a life raft, a pocket of air at the top of an underwater lake. Everything feels different now. Property of the crown, a lot of blood. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> all right, so we're all caught up on. Stop! Nobody cheated. Oh, that's People right. here respect the birders' code of honor as much as anyone. We've got, I we've got this power. Lost. Again. I'm sorry. Fuck you, Ryan Lucan. So Enjoy your bird of the year Ryan title while it lasts. Oh. Ooh, shit. Ryan's got a rival. Oh. Right? She's coming for Ryan. Yeah. Up these dishes. Down with the corporation. We're coming for the Typhon Company. Or Typhon Corporation, whatever it's called. All right, so now I know that I have this power that we can just always zoom in on people's thoughts. Ducky! Oh, Ducky, what are you thinking, my dude? It's gonna be a long night tonight. Oh, always no. Is. Same thing oh, every no. year. Oh, no, Ducky. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Oh, never, the spring festival's tonight? Okay, never mind. Maybe that's not the climax of the story. Oh no, Ducky. Ducky, talk to me. Don't be sad. Hey, Ducky. Is everything okay? Well, of course. Don't be sad. I've oh no, Ducky. Oh no. Okay. Glad to hear it. Oh no, Ducky. Poor Ducky. I wonder what's going on. Oh no. Oh no, if chat, if something bad happens to Ducky, I'm turning this game off. <laughs> If something bad happens to Ducky, we're through. Jed acts like he's in charge, but we all know who really calls the shots in here. Yeah, it's, uh, what, what do we think? Yeah, apparently I could have made a smiley face or a frowny face on the dartboard in the last episode. What do we think the bear's name is? I think it looks like... Eduardo. Eduardo the bear. Yeah, we gotta protect Ducky. If anything bad happens to Ducky, I won't be able to forgive myself. Ducky is so wholesome and pure. So, I, get those dishes, I started though, Dustin sure. Daylight while you were at work. You're kidding. I already got to Verdant Cliffs. Wait. Holy shit. Seriously? Yeah, I'm kind of addicted. It's a good game. Hey. Getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. Trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Oh. Oh, that's really cool. Is everything okay? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll like it. I hope so. So I, I guess the... I thought the... Ducky almost hustled me out of my first paycheck. Good thing <laughs> Jed stepped in. Damn it, Ducky. How could you do this? Does he have anything else? It's gonna be a long night tonight. Always is. 
Same thing every year. I thought the the spring festival was going to be the big climax at the end of the game, but maybe it'll be the, it's probably going to be the big climax at the end of this chapter. Oh. So So wait, objects can have I better do some cleanup before my shift is over. What the hell am I going to do with a jacket that says hell divers on the back? Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it. Like the rest of us are gonna get a trophy for that. You think I want to broadcast my affiliation with you, Jokers, to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. What was that trophy for? Is this something I'm supposed to be collecting? I may have missed some of them in that case. How do I get into the full trophy list? See what that trophy was for. All right, chapter one. We complete chapter one. Chapter two. Hell divers find the bomber jacket. Memory. Oh, oh, these are the memories. Oh, I've definitely missed memories. I've definitely missed memories. Oops, I didn't realize that things. That's okay, because I, I plan on. I'm here, this tonight, fuckers. So. I may, I honestly may try and, depending on what, hey, Sleepy, depending on what the, what, what the trophies are for this game, I may try and platinum this game. I don't, oh, I didn't clean, I didn't clean the dishes in here, did I? Sleepy, how you doing? Yeah, we gotta clean up these dishes. Dishes be gone! Hell yeah, that's what I like to hear, Sleepy. It's so good to see you. How's your, how's your day treating you today? How's your Friday treating you? Right, now we can get a good, hey. good scope around. Welcome. Out. I'll be right with you. We had a, uh oh, you had a math test. How did it go? I don't, I don't like math, so that's an immediate uh oh for me. But I better I'm check sure in you did with really Stephen well. Ryan. Jogger, what's going on, Jogger? What you got going on? I can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. No, 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 you Forget do you. I've been there before. No, no, you do you. You got Maybe this. I can encourage her. Yeah, let's encourage her. New dialogue unlocked. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh. Well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Trust me. You're not alone. Did we help her? Did we save the day? Is she not? Oh, she's not sad anymore. We helped her. Is there any... Can we... Wait, can we just play any of this music? Oh my god, we can just play it here, but this is all probably copyrighted. Well, maybe it's not. What do we want to listen to, chat? Oh, I want to listen to the, the fuckadelics. That's Jed to be on. Jed's okay. How you doing, Jed? Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Student. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Oh. That's like solving mysteries and helping people. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? Hey, flipping Penguin, how you doing, my friend? Everything we have is in we'll the come jukebox. on in. Cool. Just curious. Hmm. How is 
she doing? Me. She's not. Like, can I not talk to her yet? No. I think I have to talk to them first. I don't want to miss anything. Just flipped in now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So happy to have you here. Steph and Ryan are waiting on me. I'll go check in. Uh, is there anything... Oh, wait, Eleanor. Eleanor's here. If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Maybe we can help her. Can we help her? Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Oh, you're welcome. Of course. I'm doing I'm glad fantastic, Flippin' Penguin. I'm doing really well. Is there anything? Okay, we can't go upstairs. I just want to make sure we don't... Because I think this next... Like, when we talk to them, I think that's going to advance the story. So I want to make sure we don't miss anything. Uh, so, a lot has happened already. This is, this is an extremely, um, emotional game. Um, so essentially we're playing as, uh, this girl here. Her name is Alex. Um, she was an orphan who reunited with her long-lost brother here in this small town in Colorado. Uh, but shortly after they reunited, her brother, uh, died in an accident. Uh, which may not have been Time an accident. To talk to Ryan. Um, there's a, a corporation that may or may not have been responsible for it, and we're trying to get to the bottom of what happened. Uh, oh, she also has this special power that she can she can tell how people are feeling. Melkitos, nine months. Did the oh I didn't turn the alerts back on. I'm sorry. We had we got blown up with bot follows earlier, so you turn the alerts off. I'm gonna turn them back on now. Melkitos, thank you so much. Nine freaking months. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. But yeah, she has this power to be able to tell how people feel. And then she could like Where are tap you, into their feelings. Girl from Rome. Well that's right, we're supposed to what did, where did he say that C D was? Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Uh oh. Which, to be fair. Isn't that high a bar? Where did he say the the CD was? Oh my, God, so many, oh my God! Thank you so much for the work, Anna. But yeah, it's a it's a really emotionally jarring game because you keep getting into like the minds of these people. Um, and like this, there's a, an older, there's a, an older lady that's in the bar right now, um, that we went through like a whole scene where she was having like an episode of dementia and we were trying to help her. There's a few things I didn't interact with. interact with the note peanuts because she says that the, she's it's questionable whether it's sanitary or not can't go upstairs the wall of shame Steph and Ryan the oh, newest new inductees oh oh there's new stuff for Gabe some would of the be proud ones. I had interacted with a lot of this stuff in here um in the last chapter I didn't know it it Poor changed. Amelia. No, this is the same. Operated bed and breakfast for nine years, known for its beautiful rooftop garden. I think we I think I read this in the last chapter. Uh, she died at the age of thirty two of influenza, though married shortly before her death, the identity of her husband remains a mystery. I thought he said the CDs were somewhere though. So I should be double checking that there's not, because apparently there's memories. No, you might be right. I I thought I'd interacted with that in the last chapter. That was why I, I ignored it this time. I think. 
Not to be a single issue voter or anything, but yeah. fuck Typhon. Yeah, fuck Typhon. We're gonna take him down. Oh, I don't. Oh, Gabe Pile. This is new. Love you, Gabe. Aww. Well, that's really cool. Holy shit. That's really cool. That's definitely new. Um, we can look If at she's that, hiding something, I need to find to out you. what it is for Gabe. <sighs> <laughs> so sometimes there's mem there's uh there's there's memories attached to things like the oh we can't do it again this jacket had a memory attached to it because i guess it holds a lot of sentimental value so there's certain collectibles that have and i i think i missed a bunch of them in the previous chapters but i'll i'll be sure to get them when i replay the game I think. Oh. Black Lantern will be closed on the last Thursday of every month from 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. for town council business. Please direct your questions and concerns to Council Chair Jed Lucan. Ooh, I wonder if that's going to come into play. We didn't figure out where the... where that song was for the other girl, though. No, She's she had knew something about the song. What's the plan? Fuck. <laughs> well, we have two plans, actually. I had thrown by them for but the song. Maybe we'll still be able to do it. We're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean, exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up. Not important. <laughs> That's your plan. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, please tell me you have something better. Yeah, I do. Ooh, now, to be clear, Mankitos, it's the yeah. same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. This is, this is some dangerous territory. This is some real... This is some real dangerous territory that we're... There you go, Mogito. She got a pack of stream loot on the way, courtesy of Sleepy. Let's, uh, yeah, let, let's keep workshopping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a I'll simple plan, oh, yeah. literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. Chet. Oh no, oh no, Chet, who's the... I want to go... I, my choice is Steph. <laughs> this is... This still... This sits firmly in the territory of my theory that the two of these fine individuals seated here before us are our potential romance candidates. <laughs> Both are such a bad idea. I agree. I go with Steph. Let's go with Steph. Badass DJ? It's a no brainer. Sorry, Ryan. Fuck yes. <laughs> In your face. Yeah, that's fair. Look, I appreciate the the effort. 
but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? Just knock her laptop right off the table. <laughs> Flip the table over, that'll rile her up. <laughs> I know Typhon's responsible for my brother's death. I don't know how. This is really dangerous. And I don't know why yet, but I will find out. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. I think I feel we like want to find idea. those responsible and now hold them Typhon's accountable radar. just as much as you do. That's the truth. <laughs> just take a whole cup of coffee and pour it on. She's got a great badass DJ in the track. Hell bag. yeah! But let's see Hell what yeah. she's really feeling. I'm sure if there is if there is a, a potential romance. Let me try and read this. I'm I'm shooting for the the Steph path. I'm mad. sick of the lies and I'm sick of taking the heat for this company. She's pissed. If I can stoke her anger at Typhon, maybe I can find out more. Seems like a bad idea. Do you belong to a church around here? Hmm? Oh, no. Honestly, I'm sort of lapsed with all that. I do miss it, though. We're gonna ask her, sure, we'll ask do her about the napkins. Do you have um, enough napkins for the table? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. Oh, yeah. Maybe these things have memories now. Is that your niece and nephew? They must be proud to have a super-powered businesswoman for an aunt. I suppose. They do look up to me. I try to be the best role model I can. William Bloom, huh? Yeah. He's the best. Matter? Good beer? Yep. <laughs> this is a real invigorating conversation we're having here. Oh. Integrity to our very core. What? Oh, yeah. That's our motto. It... It's a motto. Yeah, I want to know exactly okay. where these napkins are. Now I need to pick something here. that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Is that our only... Oh. What about... Uh -oh. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my is. brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex... I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? Oh, you're awfully angry. You're awfully angry. Why so All right. angry? That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's anger about Titan. Okay, time to find out what Diane is really hiding. 
does it fall within the tolerable limit? Well, as I say in the report, there's a small chance that debris from the detonation could... It's a simple question. It falls within the tolerable limits. Typhon brought me here, and look where it got me. Damn them all. Ooh, okay, so she doesn't Wait. like Typhon. There's something else. Oh. So maybe she will help I us. didn't join Typhon to cover up a murder. If they try to pin this on me, I'll have everything I need to fight back. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. What's your deal? I'm sorry? Are you single? Semi-single? Taken, but still down to get drunk and make out? Whoa. <laughs> Was not expecting that at all. Um... Am I blushing? I feel like I'm blushing. No, you're cool yeah, as a cucumber. Yeah, totally cool. <laughs> That's good. I'm so flattered. I don't even know what to say. Hey, no, no sweat. Oh, shit. Just think about that was it. Smooth. Get back to me. I'm not going anywhere. That's real smooth. See ya. If I were her, I'd be so suspicious right now. <laughs> like, one of the the person who potentially whose whose brother I potentially abetted in the murder of is is sitting in front of me talking to me, and then one of her best friends walks over and asks me out, <laughs> and then they all sneak off upstairs together. My heart is pounding. <laughs> Steph, there's a very real chance that you awoke something in Diane. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> you guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh my God. I hope this was worth it. I was waiting. After you said that, Bo, I was waiting for them, like, someone to kick down the door. <laughs> Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. I have and a don't feeling... forget your guitar, okay? I have a feeling something... I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen at the LARP, though. One question. When the LARP's over, can I keep the hat? I'd say that all depends on how you do. Damn. Gauntlet thrown. <laughs> so, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. The thing. I haven't carved like Ooh, that in What's ages. the thing? I want to know what the thing is. All right. I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Right, first wow. Of all, oh. 
Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions. The Sheriff's Department would like to provide a brief update regarding out ongoing. I think it's supposed to be in on outgoing, but I, I guess it's I guess it's accurate to social media. <laughs> People make typos on social media all the time. Investigation into the death of Gabe Chen, Mr. Chen's death has been officially ruled an accident. However, our investigation remains open and we encourage any members of the community who might have valuable information to step forward and share it with us. Our goal now is to gain a comprehensive understanding of the events that led to Mr. Chen's death in order to prevent further harm from befalling anyone in our community in the future. Thanks for your service. It was an accident. Why are you still investigating? Accident. <laughs> Scare quotes. <laughs> Please don't make me disable comments. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's more. Oh, okay. Black Knight, we would close to regular business this afternoon in order to participate in Steph Gingrich's. Oh, is that her last name? live action game we'll see you all this evening at the park for the spring festival live action game <laughs> i knew that i was just testing you yeah there's a whole there's a whole social media side of things um so in between each chapter in the in the story there's there's usually a, a fairly large gap of time that that it skips so when you jump into the social media it kind of bridges the gap for you a little bit what is highly Uh oh, that was just her sending the message. Oh, we got a new entry for Diane. Diane's guilt was fractured, stranded in the no man's land between sadness and fury, a place I couldn't reach. I had to nail it down in one place or the other where I could wrap my fingers around it. I used my own anger to draw hers out, stoked it, cultivated it. She was all but shaking with it. A typhon sh at Typhon, sure, and the position they placed her in, but more than anything, I think at herself. If I'm honest, I'm not sure how I feel about using this ability that way, forcing someone into an emotional corner just to read them. The Typhon has had us in a corner too, has us in a corner too, don't they? I keep thinking that she could have used that anger, turned it into something constructive, used it to bring these fuckers down and stop them from hurting anyone else, but she didn't, did she? She, t she turtled up, collected ammo to keep Typhon from coming for her. Fuck anyone else who happens to cross them in the meantime, right? Whatever. I have what I need. Typhon brought me here. Fuck integrity. I didn't join Typhon to cover up a murder within the tolerable li limits. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, so these are the memories. The bomber jacket. Oh, there is one in each... I missed a I missed a bunch of them. There's one in each chapter. I didn't realize I could do this just any time I wanted until until this chapter. That's fine. I'll uh, I'll be able to collect them on my next playthrough. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. Thanks for the foosball game. I mean it. Also, only eat one of these at a time. <laughs> Steph, I will murder you. Alex, Steph told me you'd be willing to play at our next open mic night. I wager it, it'd really help loosen focus up and break the ice. Can you make it, Jed? Ooh, you play at open mic night? We got a to-do list? We're one step closer now. Figure out Diane's deal, maybe read her. So I've already checked the public records. Legalize to file a complaint against Typhon. 
Turns out corporate law is complicated. Contact contact police investigation investigator. All these dudes gave a crazy high price. Pass. Research other typhon sites in the U.S. abroad. Spy on miners in the Black Lantern. Can we get fired? No. Use the dark web to find a lead hacker. Couldn't figure out the dark web. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Uh, take a break and watch Nightmare on Elm Street. Hell yeah. Done, 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 and loved it. Quest copy of completed police report. How does Haven feel about Typhon Radio Pole? It's it's the to-do list. Not the <laughs> it's essentially the Sabbath. Oh, she, she fixed the puzzle. Oh, wait. Is that... I wish I could zoom in. Is that a the... housewarming gift from Eleanor? That doesn't. Is that? She said Gabe no, loved the these Billy little dudes. Yeah. No sunglasses, though. Yeah, it's not the Billy Rids gnome, unfortunately. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but it felt like I had to do something. Steph bought this for me as a gag, but I kind of developed a taste for it. Yeah, it sounds... It, well, Jim, like, Kiwi Schnapp sounds like it would be good. I haven't beat Steph a single time. That just means I'm overdue for a win. Yeah. Right? Yeah, totally. I know this is Ethan's copy, but... I'm level 73, and I'm not stopping. The sword of dust in time. Dust in daylight, not dust in time. <laughs> I found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze. Oh, it's um. Oh, that's freaking it's adorable. A unique expression. I love Ducky. I want. I want one of those. Oh, I mean, if that's an option, I'm always about. I'm always about the harem, the harem path. <laughs> I'm all for it. I didn't even know what to say when Charlotte gave oh, it shit. to me. Oh shit! Oh, that's her How tattoo. How do you even respond to such a perfect gift? That's really freaking cool. I'm really glad my advice helped. Thank you so much for your advice about signing those documents. It really meant a lot to us. I made you a little something to show my gratitude. Hope you like it. Shoo shoo! A dire rat joined your party. What do we get? Do we get new clothes options in chapter three? Is that a shirt? Oh, hang on. Is this? Is are those mustaches? Or no, they're like whales kissing. Never mind. They're like whales kissing. I'm going with the whales. Kissing whales. I still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. Welcome, travelers. Today, Thanor, the monster slayer, visits the troubled Stoneborn, the capital city of Calms. Can he dispatch the ravenous monster horde and save the kingdom? LARP Basics, a LARP live action role playing is a game in which players portray their characters through physical action using costumes and props to add to the fun. Safety rules. We're here to have fun. Don't hit too hard. Go for arms, legs, torso, backsides, fronts. Avoid hands, feet, necks, and head. Act stuff out. If you get hit, perform a grunt or, or injury. Thank you so much for doing this. It means a lot. Oh shit, there's a lot. Oh, that's us. We're Ale we're Alexandra, half elf, bard, level one, hit points ten. Un untuned core does one damage, magic, healing, serenade, and stirring him. Ooh. Backstory: After an unusual encounter with a dire wolf swallowing her loot, Alexandra the bard has been a constant companion to Thanor the monster slayer. The two have endured many trials and have recently found themselves answering a call for heroes in the city of Stoneborn. Their mustaches. I want them to be mustaches. I want to believe they're mustaches. 
Uh, let's see. We got Thanor, human, class warrior, level one, stab and burning blade, shield of courage, backstory. Thanor, the monster slayer, is the most famous hero of the Alderway Peninsula. Even the smallest child knows how he once felled a valley bear with empty hands and hurled a spear into the breast of of a, of what? That's, it looks like it says waifu. Oh, of a wraith. I thought it said waifu. <laughs> Mid-flight. Entire cities have been saved from the scourges of darkness thanks to Thanor's unrivaled strength. Well, there's a map. Oh. There's a map. Oh, this is the whole block. Because there's the dock. Gulliver's Tavern is, is where we are. It's the... The, the Black Lamp Tavern. Oh, hell yeah. You're not the waifus. Please. Anything but the waifus. We need our waifus. Okay, let's take a quick look around. Make sure there's no memories. Also, I don't think I looked over here. Anything over here? Other than we, we could play... We could play Mine Haunt for the next hour. One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. Appreciate your offer to start paying rent. Take a few months to fill your piggy bank first, then we can talk. Jed, Jed's amazing. I really like Jed. Here we got. We have to protect the waifus. Protect all of the waifus. I don't think there's gonna be any memory because I think there are other people's memories. I don't think there are memories. Also, where is that? What is the hat that she was talking about? Oh, music stuff. Oh, use this is gonna be. Yeah, we're. It's probably just gonna be silent. Yeah, it's copyrighted music. Don't hey, don't, don't just sit down and enjoy the, the beautiful silence. We got places to be. Sometimes it's hard to say where Gabe ends and I begin. His job, his apartment, his life here. But if there is a seam somewhere, I see it most in Steph and Ryan. In my mind, when we're all together, I can imagine him in my place. And I can watch the scene unfold like a spectator for a life I barely knew. Or if I choose instead, I can forget about Gabe and just accept, however improbably, that Steph and Ryan care about me for my own sake, for no other reason. I'm sure they do. I think I know which one Gabe would prefer. All right, let's go. There would have been music there, but we have copyrighted music turned off for the sake of the stream. Alright. Guitar. Okay, let me grab my hat. Where is the hat? Where's the hat? Shoo shoo. Dresser. Uh, uh oh. Am I dumb? Is it? It's probably right in front of my face. Leave it to me to wreck Gabe's bike on my first ride. Oh and no! Ryan had a good laugh. About oh no, it. she did. Look at it. Where's the hat? Oh, is it on? Is it on the hat rack? No. Where's the hat? Is it a different hat. Oh, is it up on the roof? Why would we have the hat up on the roof? I don't know 
if that's how caring for plants works. He just Yikes. leaves the hose running. This garden is looking gnarly. I haven't played for anyone else in years. That was a good night. You don't, I don't think you can just leave the hose running. So far, Ryan is the only one that uses this. Maybe I should just gift it to him. Oh, wait, hang on, we gotta stop and weed the plants. Hang on, wait for us, everyone. I've got important gardening to do. Very important gardening. Priority numero uno. I got more plants to weed. I don't think the hat's up here. Under the turnips. Maybe the maybe the turnips are the hat. Maybe we're just gonna wear a turnip on our head. That'd be kind of cool. All right, I do not think. I wonder how many times Gabe got stoned up here and stared at these. Guessing it was more than zero. All right, I don't. I don't think the hat is up here. Oh, trust me, trust me, flipping penguin. I 100% would. No hesitation. I would just plop a, a plop a turnip right on the top. I would like attach a strap to it so I could like strap it around my chin so it wouldn't fall off. I'd 100% do that. Where is the hat? It's probably somewhere like right out in the open. Chipmunk, laptop, video game, kiwi schnapps, shrine, photo, gnome, microwave, fridge, to-do list. Oh, here we go. So it's not right out in the open. Well, if it's in here. Huh. There it is. Whoa! Wait, yeah. why aren't we wearing... I don't need to know what that was for. Why aren't we wearing the feather boa? <laughs> this one I need to know. Why are we not also wearing the feather boa? Another one of these <laughs> hidden cans. <laughs> don't work. <laughs> what is it? Oh, the key for the drawer. Oh, shit. Half person, half dump truck. I feel you. Me too. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I want to go. I don't know if taking the hat's gonna launch us into the into the next scene. But here, I wanna I wanna unlock the drawer and see what's in here. Yeah, I know. I feel the same way. Who <laughs> who keeps a guitar strapped to their back and they're like, "Hang on, let me do a little gardening." <laughs> this must have been Gabe's. Make shit right list. Find Alex. Find owner of stolen Chevy. Reimburse Jed for free rent. Return Ernesto's Walkman. Donate to Lawrence Detention Center. Apologize to Vic. New bong for Kevin. Apologize to Zoe. Really apologize to Katya. Is that what it says? Katya? This time. Apologize to Ira and tell him you like his remixes. That's a long list. Pay, I bet he would have gotten through it. Pay Mr. Wallback for the Chevy. Apologize to that call, that guy from the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> uh, right. Thank you letters to Lenny. M mail check to Mrs. Franks for the broken window. She moved to Maryland. Track her down. Write to Miss Henry at Buckman High and tell her she was right. Forgive dad. Okay, so their dad isn't dead. Or, uh, I guess he could. Like, I guess he could forgive him in in more of, like, a, like a mental way than, a, like, physically going to him and forgiving him. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh? All right, let's get our hat. Huh. 
There it is. Oh, shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Uh-oh. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Oh. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Mark okay. looks cool. Is that a superhero on his wallet? Why did Melon get what's going on? Why why is the game canceled? What happened? You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. Okay. Oh. That's kind of sweet. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special I to Gabe. I love the cat on it. Look at that freaking adorable cat. Never know when you'll need a light. Yeah, oh, that's going to come in handy, I think. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. Plants vs. Zombies 2 book. You're, you're I better making find a that book? Feather. Step that sounds really cool. For details. Uh, oh, we gotta find a feather now? Where are we gonna find a feather? Um, mm, well, maybe there's a feather on the roof? Maybe on the roof? I love that hat. I want, I want one of those hats. What would I what would one type into into Amazon to find a hat like that? What if we just like we watch for a bird to fly by and then we jump from the balcony and pounce on top of it. And we just take one of its feathers. I haven't seen a feather around. Make it on a notebook and change it to Wattpad without the pictures. Oh, hell yeah. That'll be so cool, Watermelon Guy. That sounds really awesome. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. That's so cool. What uh, what made you change your mind to want to do a book instead of the game? Glizzies. What a pod glizzies. Thank you so much, watermelon guy. Where's this freaking feather? Can it possibly be No, we can't leave. So it has to be in here somewhere. Oh, oh. It's under the table, apparently. There it is. There it is. Oh, that's amazing. I want one of these. I okay. want a hat like that. I better find Ethan right away. Excited to meet you. Oh, wait, no. Why did it take us all the way back to the beginning, right? I want a hat with a feather in it. Oh, not sure if LARP is happening. Ethan's not into it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Bo. LARP might not be happening. Sounds like his dad is picking him up in a few hours, too. Okay, so Gabe was the stepdad in this situation. Any ideas? Try talking to him. Be right there. Hell yeah. Alex oh. the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> Hell yeah, here we go. We're gonna go save the day. We'll just, you know, jump into his feelings, see how he's feeling. 
and we'll we'll figure shit out. We'll make them feel better because that's what we do. We're we're super powered heroes. All the art got ruined by your your Taco Bell, your Taco Bell drink. Uh oh! Oh no, watermelon guy! What happened? I'm so sorry to hear that. Did you like spill your drink on it or something? I'm so sorry. That really stinks. Hey. I don't need, like, cheering up or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... Are you going to compliment my hat, Ethan? I have a really cool hat. Gabe was so excited to LARP with you. I bet he'd really want you to do it. I do want to do this. It's just... Oh. <sighs> Actually, he's sad. Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, especially my mom. She always looks so <sighs> sad. Oh, no, watermelon guy, I'm so sorry. Cause I'm how like much how much art out. did you lose? But I can't just pretend. So, don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. But, what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine, too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. Oh yeah, we're gonna save in the day. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Let us save in the day. Superheroes. The LARP is back on. Oh no, look at shit. <laughs> Thanor, the monster slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've oh, come. Oh, no. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Oh, my God, I love it. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ancient Kraken. A Kraken ate a city every year until it died on Thanor's spear. My goodness. You must be Thanor's bard, Alexandra, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But there's hope. An ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Oh, I understand. Yeah. A mustache like that, you yes. better believe I understand everything you're saying right now, Jed. Good. Then you must go. Now. <laughs> My Problem. people are counting it's on you. It's pretty close. <laughs> Should we start with the main road? 
Okay. Time to find some jewels. Oh, we gotta find those jewels. We gotta find Jed's jewels. Mander, we are open. We know a lot of you have floral needs in the ramp up to the spring festival. So despite the evening on Main the event on Main Street will be maintaining business hours until 5 p.m. today. Tension Monster Hunters, this appears to be the result of some sort of extra-dimensional rift opening up and spilling another universe's florist into our world. <laughs> the Magpie Emporium will investigate. <laughs> Eleanor's response is my favorite. She's like, I'm glad you're having fun, honey. <laughs> Please don't come anywhere near my flower shop. <laughs> the Magpie Emporium. The Magpie Emporium arrived in the night, transforming an empty storefront into a fully stocked magic supply shop. Mortal residents are encouraged to come by and peruse our wares. Ooh. We got some wares to peruse. All right, let's go. This is kind of exciting. Literally, we can just explore the freaking town like this. This is really freaking cool. The old Life and Strange games were all so linear. Like, it would just pop you in a place and you'd have a little area to explore and look at things. How do we know where to look? Well, I think we don't know. It's a true adventure. Wait, what is... Oh, oh, he's happy! He's really happy. He's enjoying this. Alex really saved the day. Gabe would be proud. Aww. Thanks, Jed. I like Jed. Oh, character. Oh, we can look at our character sheets. So are we gonna like level up and shit? Yeah, Jed's amazing. I don't know. Are these character sheets gonna change? Are we gonna level up? Cause we're at level one still. This is amazing. The amount of effort they put into this is incredible. I always talk about how a lot of these... What do you think the jewels are for? Oh, you're gonna find out. Uh, magic ritual... Maybe some kind of magic ritual... ...that protects the whole kingdom. Does King Tabor know magic? Maybe. I guess we'll find out. I... I always talk about how games like these are... ...are really lazy. Like, not this game, but, like, decision-based games where it's just, like... You get plopped in a place, and you talk to someone, and you make a decision, and you talk to somebody else and make a decision, and your decisions don't seem to matter. But this is, even if, I, I honestly, if there's not, like, a ton of consequence at the end, like, if there's not multiple endings or a bunch of different endings, I'll be perfectly happy because of how much there is to do in this game. Ooh, Jet is the villain! <gasps> Looking cool. Oh, thank you. You like my feather? You like my feather, sir? How do you, how do you feel about it? Get a good look at it. He's looking right Excuse at me. it. <laughs> Excuse me. That's enough looking at my feather, sir. You've looked enough. There's a scroll. Is this what a real quest feels like? The scroll of healing restores you and your allies to full health. Remove all negative status effects, poison, stun, etc. May only be used once. What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh, oh awesome. Oh, we should more? find as many as we can. I'm gonna look around and make sure there's no more scrolls. I feel like those are going to come in handy. I don't know. I'm excited to find out what we're going to fight. I'm real excited to find out. I just want to make sure there's no other scrolls strewn about all lily nilly. Can we go to the beach? Oh, that's a nice beach. Oh, can we go to the beach? Holy crap, we can go to the beach! I thought it was just there for decoration. I didn't realize we could go down here. Oh, there's... What is that? Is that... Is that a scroll? No, it's a... It's like a piece of stick. 
Alright, there's nothing down here, but we're able to come down here, which is still pretty cool. Are you on the water? No. Also, I don't know if there's, like, memories I should be finding. Hell yeah! Be the secret beach! We found the top secret beach! It actually was kind of a secret. <laughs> so I had no idea you can go down there. That is, that is true watermelon guy. They're, they're rocking those pog glizzies. Alright, I don't think there's any more scrolls here. We should probably explore beyond the park. Yeah. Alright, I don't think there's any more scrolls in the park. Let's leave the park. Wolf. A dire wolf. <laughs> Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. Oh, we're fighting. Well, did this just turn well, did this just turn into a JRPG? Oh my god. <laughs> uh I don't... Attack! I can... No, I have... I have, like, a magic... Or, Untuned like, a... Untuned cord! <laughs> One damage. That's probably not good for your guitar, Alex. Yeah, we're just... We're just in a freaking... <laughs> get him! Get with the burning, burning blade! Burning blade! One damage! <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns! Two damage. <laughs> uh, I'm still on fire. Oh no, he's on fire. Do you have any magic? Shield of courage. Nah, we don't need that. Get with that stab. <clears throat> Two damage. <sighs> oh, he's down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> This is how LARP works? Hell yeah. Loot. That's amazing. That's so amazing. I want to do LARP. Oh, cool. I learned a magic attack. <laughs> One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. Uh oh, three damage to enemies. <laughs> One damage to allies. Oh, shit. The fire blast. Let's keep going. Hey, yeah, see, he's having fun. What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks yeah. something in one of these stores. Oh, he's having fun. This is actually really fun. I know, right? You have, your, you have me open on four different tabs when I opened your browser and it scared you so bad. Oh no, Phoenix, I'm so sorry. How you doing? Welcome on in. Oh, there's a dollar. Hang on, we're sleeping on this dollar that's over here. Huh. Did Ethan drop this? Oh, it's got a memory attached to it. I swung over the top once. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. I did! I don't have to prove it. I'm gonna tell my mom you called me a liar. <laughs> Do it, dude. I dare you. Did we really just kill a dire wolf? What did you no, think of that fight? Watermelon guy, we wouldn't do that. It wasn't too bad. You kicked ass. The monsters don't stand a chance. <laughs> Thanks. Tired, about to play some Valorant. Hell yeah, Phoenix. Hell yeah, that sounds like a really good time. That's what it's all about. Phoenix, thank you so much for that host. I really appreciate that. Hell yeah, thank you so much. Seals Apple! How you doing? 
Why does that sound like? Oh, I don't. I don't know. It's it's one of the. Or wait, are you talking about one of the voice actors in the game? Wasn't it, it could a direwolf that swallowed my instrument? It was, but a much larger one. And you beat it on your own? No wonder I wanted to join you. Yeah, it could. I mean, there's a good chance it could be. Din din time! Oh, hell yeah! Hopefully, you're having something really good for dinner, Apple. Nothing beats din din time. It's definitely a favorite of mine. On the pictures, oh, okay. It might just be someone. Oh! It. Depending on who does the voice, they might really put a lot of inflection on their voice. Or, I think Avatar. Oh, from RW. I, I don't know why I thought you said Avatar. I don't. I'm not familiar with RW. I've I've heard of RWBY, but I don't know anything about it, unfortunately. Oh, same here, Apple. I'm I'm all about food. Where's the scroll? Oh, is it? It's pronounced Ruby. I've always said it as RWBY. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we got the scroll of advantage. You and your allies gain an extra turn. May only be used once. Found a scroll? <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Phoenix. <laughs> it makes sense, though, that it would just be pronounced Ruby. <laughs> oh, boat rentals. I want a boat. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. For within that tavern, it is quite gruesome. Uh-oh. Wait, who is this? Who is that? Wait, is that Ethan again? I can't remember the last time. Oh no, time it's Ryder Boy from huh? That makes two of oh, us. Oh, here we go again. Let's get rid of you. If they if they keep popping up, I'll turn notifications off again. Yeah, it's been it's been real rough with the with the bots today, Phoenix. No, you got nothing to worry about. They're banned. You got nothing to worry about. Hey, let's hear your riddle. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. How are we supposed to know that? Maybe we can look for some clues. Hell yeah, let's look for some clues. Uh-oh. Whoa. What's that about? Looks like you dropped something, Diane. Every Tuesday. Ooh. It just pisses me off so bad, you know? The way this world is designed to make you into a horrible person. That's just the price we pay for safety and security, I guess. Thank you so much for the lurk, Phoenix. Is Are you sure? Of course. That's how it works. You sharpen your teeth or you starve. Alright, so I think we're gonna go in here. I have a feeling this is gonna be oh, hang on, what's this? I wish I wish they'd written Red Rum. That would have been a cool reference. Alright, let's go ahead in here and see. Wanna look on. in here? Yeah. Let's go in. Oh, they even put a freaking sign. Oh, this is this is so freaking elaborate. I love it. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> what happened here? Nothing good, I promise. Oh no. Tell it's Ducky. I see.
Oh my god, Ducky is a gnome. Are you the bartender here? Nope. Monster ate all of the staff. We'll have to serve ourselves. Do you know what this key is for? Belong to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> so, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Yeah, no, I don't think he's gonna be stopping anyone with that leg. <laughs> Let's see what we can find around here. Fucking Ducky. <laughs> Ducky, how you doing, my dude? I'm a genius for convincing Steph that my character should be alone behind the bar. Oh my god. All the drinks I want. <laughs> hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Oh my god, I freaking love I love Ducky. Ducky is by far yes. my favorite character. I see you've poured yourself some ale. You just survived a monster attack. I think you deserve a couple drinks on the house. Truly wise beyond your years. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, watermelon guy. If you build anything really cool, you should take a screenshot and show us in the Discord. That'd be really cool. <laughs> Want to tell him about our Hell quest? Yeah. We, the boy needs We're on a quest like a... to end the age of monsters. So you won't have to live in fear anymore. Are you now? Let me give you something that you may find useful. Ooh, wow. Thanks. I'm going to go ahead and guess we'll be meeting a snake. Oh. Ophidin. Ophidin. Dian, Ophidian, ch chime. Type instrument requires bard. Affects snakes within hearing. Must fall asleep. Ooh, okay, we're gonna be fighting some snakes. Some sneaky snakes. How did you survive the attack? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I tripped an elderly woman. Oh my god, Ducky. <laughs> She had a comment. Yeah, definitely. Stingy dish wench. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to keep looking around. Good luck. <laughs> Ducky's just going to keep drinking. <laughs> okay. I'm glad, I'm glad that he's happy, though, because the last time we checked him, he was, he was sad about the festival. Oh, this looks important. Is this not important? Steph really went all out in here. Yeah, well, that we always have that inventory, but it's usually not that many things. It's usually just, like, one or two items. I wonder if Alexandra the Bard would have cracked the Tavern Top 20. We're going to have to deal with this, aren't we? Take heed, it is believed that a swamp troll has taken residence below the eastern bridge. Use extreme caution when crossing. Or better yet, don't. Did you see this warning? Yeah. And that's a bad situation. Trolls are ruthless. Oh. Someone knows how to keep Thanor busy. Oh no. Ugh, the tavern rough keeper's day leg. For Barry the tavern keeper. Ooh, music box. So gorgeous. Where does Steph get all this stuff? Yeah, that's really cool. Ooh, it's got dragon on it. Thanor! Did you see this? That's got to be it! Ooh, I want to play some of the, the newest Baldur's Gate at some point in the future. I watched Ghost Pepper play some of it, and it looks amazing. It's one of the jewels! Oh, shit. That was convenient. <laughs> Dougie's just having a great time. One down, two to go. That wasn't so bad, right? Now I feel more confident we can find the others. 
Why do you finally believe in us? <laughs> That's not what I meant. House Bard? Sorry, Steph. Alexandra is pretty happy with her current gig. House Bard wanted seeking a house bard to entertain at dinners, dances, beheadings, etc. Must be witty, perceptive, generous of heart, black hair preferred, cute smile, a plus. Excellent. Excellent compensation. Old swords for sale. See Ewan, the blacksmith. Repel monsters with a secret blend of herbs. Only four gold coins for the recipe. Meet behind Gallweather's Monday at midnight. It didn't work at all, you hack. <laughs> Anyone else been hearing spooky sounds around the castle? No, no, I haven't. Hey, Ellie, how you doing, my friend? Papa Bear Ellie, how you doing? How did the rest of your Phasmo stream go? This kingdom has serious problems. Okay, so the Storm Rither. So this is cool, because we picked the Storm Rither, which means there must have been another poster that had the other the other bad guy on it that they designed. Well, look at that bug guy. Sir Howl of Graveton. Gorham Dank Bro. Gorham Dank Breath. His breath so dank. <laughs> Did everybody go? It, it went well. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's so awesome. I'm really glad to hear it. All right, so wait. What is this? This has oh, a memory gosh. test. I think Ducky dropped this. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's a good memory. The 13th quinquennial meeting of the Daegu Biscuit Boys is hereby called to order. I'm sorry to the, announce the that all boys? six of us remain upright and above uh, ground. Uh, first point of order. Ducky, if you had to guess, though, about how much longer are you fixing to live? Well, Just long enough time. to collect, Gordon, and not a minute longer. I'll crawl graveward with your shares clutched in my stiffening fingers. You mark my words. Oh, oh, oh no, they decorated the bear. That better be washable. But hell yeah, Ellie, I'm really glad to hear it. I've been, we've been playing a lot of Phasmo too, and I've been really digging it. Here we go. Phasmo's a ton this of fun. This probably has the answer to that riddle. Oh, here we go. The Legend of the Soul Jewels. The Legend of the Soul Jewels. Berlin Nira Des Desis. Long ago, it is said, when unspeakable terrors reigned even in daylight, four heroes faced the great shadow on the Kellian shores. For days the battle raged, until the powers of the great shadow overwhelmed the four heroes, pushing them to the brink of death. There, among waves stained with blood, three of the heroes gave their lives, calling upon an ancient spell that pooled the souls from their bodies and fashioned them into three stones of immeasurable power. From Naira the Berserker, Strongest of the four came the soul ruby. From Decius the cleric, weaver of stories, came the soul sapphire. From Belin the illusionist, keeper of the old books, came the soul amethyst. With all three soul jewels in hand, the fourth hero took up their sword and struck down the great shadow, piercing it with light. Then, weary and bloodied from battle, the fourth hero hid the jewels away and wandered into the deep wilds of, Ru of Rune? Rune? Never to be seen again. I don't know. But I think that our quest is to strike down all the monsters or something. I don't know. Why does the king want them? Maybe he is the, the real villain. Guess Lawrence is going to need a new business advisor. Dear Lawrence, I write to amend the advice I gave you when we last dined together. There is no need to sell your business. I am confident the age of monsters will soon come to an end. I have on good authority that his majesty's call for heroes was answered by none other than Thanor, the legendary monster slut. Monster slut? Yeah, so I think we're trying to end the Age of Monsters with the jewels. Monster Encyclopedia. Steph thought of everything. 
She's amazing at this. I feel like this is, we should probably look at what monster it is. I feel like it's a clue. It's a clue. Can we stop and play? We can, we could. We could stop and play Arkanoid right now if we wanted to. <laughs> I'm real sus about the king. I think the king is up to something. I think he's up to no good. I want to focus on Ethan right now. Oh, a coin. Oh, we have two coins now. Ooh, some sheet music. What happened to the rest of the music? Ooh, new skill acquired. Class Bard, Hypnotic Fugue. But I guess we have to find the other half of the page. All right, I think that's everything in... Oh, wait, can we... We can't go up to our room. They wouldn't put stuff in our room, would they? Uh, yeah, no, we can't go up there. All right. Uh, oh, rolling... I thing. actually feel bad for that person. <laughs> there, there was a monster, and you only had your guitar. Would you smash their head with it? Oh, hell yeah. Be honest. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Of course I would. Are you sure? Yes. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if it counts as coin theft, Clifton Penguin. It, it appears that nobody left here, with the exception of this dwarf, <laughs> or I'm sorry, a gnome. He's a gnome. That's <laughs> so, so leisurely. <laughs> Taking control of the the booze stash, stash in uh, in this fine establishment. I don't think anyone's gonna miss this one coin. Bye. <laughs> Ducky will be here Bye. drinking. Don't worry. <laughs> I freaking love Ducky. He's by far my favorite character. Yeah, he's just making sure there's no poison. Hell yeah, I like to believe that. <laughs> I'm on Ducky's side. He can drink as much as he wants. <laughs> Check out what I found in that chest. Scroll of nimbleness. Plus one dodge. You and your allies will dodge the next attack. May only be used once. Nice work, Thanor. We have a message. I feel like the messages are clues. Someone please explain why everyone on Main Street is dressed up like a Renaissance festival threw up on them. <laughs> oh, Hector got. I want to meet Hector Gonzalez. The age of monsters hath descended upon our fair Hamlet. Drinking. That is. That is true. That is true. Drinking is not good for you. That is one hundred percent true, Phoenix. I don't think Ducky cares. Ducky's really old, and <laughs> I, I think he's got a couple screws loose, but I love him even more for it. <laughs> I love Hector Gonzalez. When do we get to meet him? <laughs> There's a shit I'm talking about, Mike Lower. There's a shit I'm talking about. I, I think we're going to find out, because there was a moment where Ducky was real sad about something related to the festival. And I have a feeling that we're going to find out that Ducky has a really tragic past. Listen not, sir, to those who would tell you to abandon hope, for the great hero Thanor has arrived at our gates. What does this mean? I just wanted... Mike, Lo Mike Loller is me. I was like, I just wanted some ice cream. I came out to the, to, to the ice cream shop, and it turns out they're selling weird potions. I don't know if I should drink this. It's not ice cream. <laughs> yeah, Mike Mike Lowler doesn't get out very often. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's it's someone it's someone in the game. It's someone in the game. <laughs> Not to alarm you, Phoenix. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's someone in the game. I just want some ice cream. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, there's a serpent out there. Uh, oh, from I should Riley. probably drop in on Riley and thank her in person. We're in the in the middle of. Wait, hang on. There's a lot of. I know we did this. Things we drink last night. Great to just unwind with you. You got this. Let's do it again. You made Ryan tell me what this USB is for. He was being very vague for my own protection. I'm going to try my best to get you access. No guarantees, depending on how good the password is. You deserve the truth. Truth. Typhon's obviously hiding something. Max still scared to death of them. Anyway, I'll be at the shop if you need anything. I really appreciate it. There was some really interesting stuff in there. Yeah, hell yeah. Sorry. We got to get back to our quest. No hard feelings, fellow bar. Godspeed. <laughs> See ya. Right, let's. So wasn't there someone that was like come behind the tavern? Oh, maybe that was just for decoration. Maybe we can't actually do it. Let's see what these people think about us. Aren't I? Hey, hey. What's all this? We're, Too uh... busy to talk right now. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, mind your Mark own. Welcome, dead. Mind, mind your own business, buddy. Oh, he's real happy. Ethan's back to his old self, thank God. What a great kid. Ethan's oh, got yeah. a lot of people who care about him. Hell yeah. I can't go up. I can't go up there. Sorry. Did you say she's? Oh, there's a scroll. Scroll. Hey, kid. You responsible for that massacre in the Black Lantern? We're the good guys. The scroll of advantage. You and your allies gain an extra turn. May only be used once. Got another scroll. Cool. We have a lot of scrolls. What are we gonna be fighting that we need all these scrolls for? Go get them, Ethan. I'm Thanor. Oh yeah, all these random people are just really Go on get board. Thanor. <laughs> Everyone's just so on board. I love it. Mmm, chili, huh? Oh, no. right, here comes another, another ban incoming. Boom. Oh, where are those glizzies? Where are those pod glizzies? Hell yeah! Thank you so much, Phoenix. I bet there's something fun in the record store. Ooh. Wait, where's the record store? Oh, wait, is that? No. There it is. I don't want to miss anything though. Could there be something down the alley? Oh, down the alley? Oh. Wait, what's this? Dead guy. This is where, where's the dead guy? Oh, there's the dead guy. We're talking. We're lovers. Shh. They're here. Woe is me. Woe is me. Behold, my love has been slain by yonder river monster. Oh no, not yonder Where? river monster. Just down the yonder alley. <laughs> near the river. Oh. Alas, alas. <laughs> when in doubt, <laughs> just say alas multiple times. <laughs> oh no, Phoenix, that's okay. <laughs> I'm really glad. I'm really glad that you're having fun. Beware that's what it's all about. River monster. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Stop moving, dead guy. <laughs> Some kind of snake. So wait, is Ryan just gonna be all the I monsters? Guess. <laughs> Do we have to fight it? Why wouldn't we? I mean, this it's kind of cute, isn't it? <laughs> what 
What are you talking about? Gonna attack. What do you want to do? Ophidian chime. Snakes within hearing must fall asleep. Pretend that's a low sound. Snakes' ears are internal, so they can't hear. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 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 Magic bell! I'm so glad we got that. Oh. More loot! Alright. Let's make some ears bleed. New skill acquired. Class Bard. Horrid Disharmony. Attack. Does three damage. Must. May only be used once per battle. Oh, this game is, Phoenix, Wait. this game is fantastic. I am What's blown that? away by how good this game is. Like, I've liked all the other Life is Strange games, but this one by far takes the cake. Hey, Kay, it's how like you doing? It's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Ooh. Let's hang on to it. Yeah. You're with Crucy. Oh, how's this? That his... was so smart of you to use the bell. How's his birthday going? It worked out, didn't it? Tell him, tell him happy birthday for me, please, Kay. In case I don't get over the there. Sweet hypnotic jams. Oh, he's drunk. That's okay. It's his birthday. Oh, we got the other half. Type magic effect. Transfix. Enemy cannot move for one turn. Hell yeah. I'm playing fat. Oh. I imagine, I imagine Phasmo drunk must be really interesting. I gotta, I've gotta imagine that's a really interesting experience. Scroll of nimbleness plus one die. I think we had a, I think we have two of we're those. We're like now. master scroll seekers. Yeah, we are. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what we're ever going to use all these scrolls for. This is a lot of scrolls. No worries, Kay. We will be here. Thank you so much for popping on by. I really appreciate it. Appreciate everyone hanging out. I'm glad everyone's having fun and enjoying this game. Because I'm really enjoying this game. This is freaking fantastic. I bet that's what's, what it's going to be, Bo. I bet there's going to be some big bad end game boss that we're going to have to fight. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, Kay. Let's get a pack of stream loot for Bo. Pack incoming courtesy. Courtesy of Kay. Thank you so much, Kay. Don't worry, we took care we took care of the serpent. We avenged okay. you. We handled the river serpent. Yeah, it's only it's, Thank you, adventurers. I mean we we didn't, but you uh, should probably clean up that body. You know, um, we didn't really handle. We just kind of put the sea serpent to sleep. It's it's gonna wake up eventually. <laughs> probably hurt more people. <laughs> but eh, eh, that'll be somebody else's problem. All right, let's go to. Uh, where is what's first on the street? So there's the record store. Oh, I bet we can go to the... Can we go to... Oh, no, I don't think we can go Come to Come on. Do Monster abundances are when you need apothecaries the most. <laughs> Aw, the apothecary's closed. Aw. Disappointed? I thought I would finally get to go in. That's right, that's his mom's store. My fine work. Wait. Who? These so called. Oh, there. I hear you've dealt with the <laughs> serpent, huh? More than just talk, are you? Perhaps the magpie can help you on your quest. I don't know why is he mad. Step inside if you're. Oh, what a thankless life. Being a smith in the age of monsters. Whoa. He's really yeah. into this. Everything okay? 
you seem pretty, um, grumpy. I've forgotten the damn components of Sun Silver. Don't suppose you know the composition? Why so angry, bro? bro? Um, if we find out, we'll tell you. Why is he so angry? I won't hold my breath. What did you need again? Yeah, we don't have any. Sun here. Silver? The components for Sun Silver. All right, all right, I'm working on it. Oh, bald guy. How you doing, bald guy? Do. Oh no, why is he angry? One, two, three. I control me. One, two, three. I control me. This book is written for fucking toddlers. Ooh, Ooh. buddy. Nothing like getting pissed off at your anger management book. Didn't do anything for him? I guess not. Um, I think I think we want to go in the record store. Yeah, but I think that I think he's reading a book on anger management, but it's not working. <laughs> it's definitely not working. What does the sign say? I'm guessing this a is Emporium. a fancy art gallery. Ooh. Wait, no, a pet shop. Wait, we're supposed to knock. I guess we're just going in. Go for it. Ethan doesn't need healing potions. Monster? He's already an incredible mortal? hero. Mortal. Come in. Hell yeah. Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Ooh. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh, so this is like right. a if magic I, shop. If I didn't like Steph before, I'm gonna take a look around it's a now bit, been... okay? <laughs> it, it's now see been what uh, done to the place. multiplied tenfold. <laughs> oh, this is so freaking cool. I'd like to try one of those bard instruments, please. You'll need to schedule a private appointment. Maybe. <laughs> I'll do that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's not ominous at all. Business license. The Sorcery Guild hereby authorizes the Magpie Emporium to buy and sell items with magical properties. The guild assures no responsibility for the consequences. What is that name? Yalia? Var 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 Yazian? <laughs> yeah, let's. We're, I'm sure we're gonna want to shop, but let's look around first. Oh wait, why is she? Why is she scared? When Alex said I'm hot, did she mean it, or was she just messing oh. around? Never seen Steph feel this way before. Uh -oh. Maybe I could. Reassure her. She's always so confident. Ilya. Oh, we've in, we've intimidated our potential waifu. Uh. Yeah, let's talk to her. The streets used to be full of people. Right, how are we supposed to reassure her? Oh, maybe we have to. Uh, let's look around. He's forging the Sky Sword of Power. Oh, the Sky Sword oh, of Power. Yeah? One day, yeah, we've got to protect the fight. waifus. That's our that's our goal in any game. We have to protect the As waifus. As a classically trained bard, I gotta say, this music's not bad. And the husbandos, which I, I think I think we have one of each in this game. So <laughs> that actually looks legit. That's really freaking cool. I want one of those. Golems. Golems. Animation fee not included. Ooh. Oh, Steph. Spells. Very cute, Steph. Are these spells for sale? 
To members of the Sorcery Guild only. Sorry. Wonder if they have drills for this. In case monster attack. Gather those who matter. Cast protective circle. Create illusion in other direction. Await archmage assistance. Not guaranteed. I guess some heroes are into bards with flashy guitars. Ooh, but I'm glad believed... Thanor has better taste. Why do we believe to be the instrument of Fleet Silvertongue, bard of champions, and savior of Prince Claire... Claire Durin? Priceless or best offer. Can we buy it? It's a wonder Valkyrie's ever hungry. What with all the human flesh I assume she consumes. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's Valkyrie. Does Valkyrie Warning. still hate us? Cat is cursed. <laughs> Do not pet. Yeah, no need to warn me. <laughs> Ooh. Seeking insight? Draw a card. Huh. Ooh. What do I want insight about? Uh, ooh. Uh, people. Uh, Steph. Steph is just awesome. I don't, that's the fool. Card of spontaneity, fearlessness, and adventures. Adventure. Ad adventure. No, adventures. Welcome gladly. Is it supposed to be adventurers? Oh no, they welcome adventures gladly. Okay. Oh, we can draw one for well, let's do us. I mean, I hope that's true. Temperance, a card of moderation from inner calm and balanced perspectives. We'll do one for Ryan. Is that true for Ryan? The star. I hope so. A card of inspiration, optimism, and hope for the future. The things. You were right, Gabe. Card I'm a superhero. Card of determination, focus, and the sculpting of one's own destiny. Yikes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Death for Haven? A card of endings, inevitable transformation, and letting go. Uh-oh. That's not good. Typhoon. Holy shit. The devil! Too real. Card of power and domination and the pursuit of same. Ooh. I think that was all of them. Yeah. Yeah, oh shit. But that's not good for for Haven. Because I imagine that's foreshadowing what's gonna happen. Very cute in the game. stuff. Okay, so I think I think we've looked at everything. As a classically trained bard, I gotta say, this music's not bad. The cards know all. Never doubt the cards. Smithing score. Oh, hey. Sun Silver. We should tell that blacksmith. Oh, wait. Okay, so. Sun Silver. A semi magical compound used in the forging of ceremonial weapons, shields, and crests. Once set, Sun Silver can shine with the brightness of seven suns making it popular at coronations, weddings, and early morning council meetings. Okay. Okay, so we may actually have to... The last time it gave us in, like ingredients for something, we actually had to remember it. Yeah, yeah, I've got to actually remember this time. So it's iron, goblin ore, and fire powder. Oh, uh, hang on. <laughs> I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself, Bo. I'm, I'm getting a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> iron, goblin ore, and fire powder. Iron, goblin ore, fire powder. All right. <laughs> the discovery of sun silver dates back to the royal smith of Griffin's Peak, who first fabricated the great sword. Leapsna Kratos, 
under the direction of High Alchemist Robert Wellborough. We look at the. We look at the. Are they like? Oh, they're guitar. Oh, they're grouped up. Well, that's not really. Isn't it? Wouldn't that be a loot? I don't. Is that considered a guitar? The streets used to be full of people. Holy shit. Steph looks fantastic. Alright, so I think the only other thing we can do. I bet we're supposed oh, to that's buy the stone. Here. The soul sapphire's right there. For sale. That's a lot of money though. Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... No, I meant... Never mind. Maybe we can make some kind of deal with her. Yeah, let's haggle. Would you consider giving us that sapphire? <laughs> For free? <laughs> oh, here we go. In exchange for something far more valuable. My hand. In marriage. And all of its associated benefits. And but you should know... Who's on Steph right now. I wouldn't offer if I didn't mean it. Putting the moves on Steph right now. I'm pretty sure we're locked in to the potential... Mm -hmm. Romance uh, path with Steph, if that's a I thing. I mean, oh man, this just got real. <laughs> Ethan's <laughs> loving this. <laughs> I'd be lying Ethan's if all I about said this. I wasn't intrigued. Mm, chilly, huh? Mm. But I'm afraid I can't accept. Two of them. For now. Mm, we need the sapphire chilly, right away. Huh? It's for a quest to end the age of monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the river of sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales and I'll give you the sapphire in return. I hear, I hear that's the best place to get steamy is the magic shop. I've heard that. I've heard that from a really good source. Really reliable one source. Magic fish scale. Impressive. Well, then here's my end of the bargain. Only one more jewel left. Getting there. What is troll dust? Very friendly troll. Now that I'd like to see. Troll dust. Type curiosity any class. Dusted trolls become very friendly. Ooh. I have a feeling we need... Do we have enough money for that? I don't think we do. Oh, we have exactly enough. I feel like maybe that'll come in handy. We so there's definitely to, a troll, troll at the Eastern Bridge. Do you think we can beat a troll? Probably. I'm going to buy the troll dust. Three gold, please. <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the troll dust will work on all these freaking bots and get rid of them. All right, we don't have any money left. I just spent all of our money. I think this is everything. Where to next? Oh, she's happy now. I do. Happy. I do. I do. I do. Aww. Maybe when Ethan's not around. Aww. Uh, I want to make sure there's not like any memories in here. Still got to finish the oh, rest of our go. quest. Dude, I hear you, but a combat-based system with no social mechanics is like my fucking nightmare. Are you- 
Hey, Precious. Where did you come from? Are you the one I've been hearing in the walls? Oh. Smartass, there's a cat outside the shop. Dude, I don't know. She doesn't have a collar. Yeah? I'll call Pike, see if anybody's reported their cat missing. Meantime, guess she's coming to work with me, isn't she? Yes, she <laughs> is. Yes, she Three. is. What was the advertisement? Did Man, that? my dating life could have used a truth spell or two. Oh no, I didn't read this. Un unbetrothed. Come to the Magpie Emporium on Sunday evenings. Meet other unwed hopefuls in a truth spelled environment. Love potions strictly prohibited. Admission one gold. Alright, we leaving. Oh, me too, Bo. I'm all about I'm all about getting getting Alex and Steph together at this point. Although I don't I don't dislike Ryan. I just like Steph more. And if there are if there are paths, I could do the second path in my second playthrough. All right, here we go. We got we got the shit. Hey, I'm still thinking about that tapestry, the blacksmith making the sword. Yeah. Yeah, we've got the ingredients to give to the Angi blacksmith. Hey, we found the components of sun silver. It's iron, goblin ore, oh. and fire powder. Oh, so much for my notes. Praise the gods. Of course. How could I forget? Why don't you take that scroll for your kindness? I've no need of it. Scroll of advantage. You and your allies gain an extra turn. May only be used once. I saw that. Like, right before you picked it up. Okay, you can have the credit. No, I don't care. I'm just saying. Too late. Credit's yours. All right, so we did that. You still, you still angry, bud? Oh, he is. So, I, I think we have to go. Oh, maybe we can. I know. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. Is she at the flower shop? Oh, jogger, how you doing? That run felt amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, hell yeah, wow. we helped her. Good for her. We helped her. Hell yeah. Mind if I duck in here a second? I have to, um, renew my bar guild membership. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Ethan. We <laughs> just left Ethan out there. <laughs> Don't. I hope he doesn't wander off. Remember what happened last time he wandered off. Dear customers, Leaf Flowers will have reduced hours of operation during May and June as we search for additional staff. We apologize for the inconvenience. Congrats for. Oh, Riley's going to school. How did they, oh, look, they got a new sweater for Billy. They got a new sweater for the Billy gnome. Oh, that's amazing. She's going to school. Hey there. I could ask Riley how progress is going with the USB. Oh, look at the cool gnome. Look at Billy. Look how stylish she nice. is. Nice. Must be hard to find new employees in a small town. I hope it works out. 
So I did, I did notice something during the cutscene, and I don't know if I'll be able to see it over here. Uh, oh, we'll actually be able to look at it. There's a, a note on this box. It's hard to, it might read it when we zoom in on it, but I noticed that during the cutscene it says, Did you mean to order this twice? If not, I'll send it back on Monday. Signed R. So Riley. So she, she ordered something twice Sooner by accident. Or later. Oh, there we go. Riley's gonna figure out Eleanor's secret. Yeah, I noticed that during the cutscene because it like zoomed in over her shoulder. I think it intentionally zoomed in and showed it. What a piece of shit. What's this? Oh, from Mac. Hey Ridley, I got you a little going away present. It's from that chocolate place we went to on our anniversary last year. I haven't been able to sleep lately thinking about you out partying on your own. Of course, I trust you, but there's going to be a lot of guys there, and that makes me anxious. Honestly, I wish you would think about that a little. Call me from school if you ever want to talk. You got, you guys are broken up. She's not your girlfriend anymore, bruh. Of course she's going to be out partying. She's going to be living her life. You can get over yourself. Should have thought about that before you came barging into someone's apartment. And so Eleanor is donating them to the floor. all those decorations. Annual spring raffle. Take home a beautiful arrangement from this year's spring festival. All proceeds support the Haven Spring Historical Pre Preservation Society. I just want I just want to look around at everything before before we talk to her. For spring festival. These are freaking gorgeous. This is just so nice. I'm from Eleanor. Dear Riley, you'll need a new computer for your fancy new scholarship. If this doesn't cover it, tell me and I'll write another check. I am so proud of you. Okay, so Eleanor is not here. But it seems like she has other stuff going on with the fest, because the festival is also today, if I'm remembering correctly. Riley's like 300 pages in. Must be a good book. The Mascarin effect. Is that like... Is that like the... The, um... Why? I'm, I'm like having like brain farts today. <laughs> um... The Mandola effect. Is that like the Mandola, the, the fictional version of the Mandola effect? <laughs> God, I took that bus here barely a month ago. Feels like it's been years. Yeah, so we've, we've been here like a month already. I will definitely not touch this. Oh no. Oh, she just left her password up. Oh no. Eleanor. Eleanor, you can't do that can't do this. Someone has to tell her she can't do that. Yeah, we gotta save the town from monsters, but first we have to make sure we look at all the things. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Riley, and we'll find out about the, the USB. Although, I feel like there might be something in here. Because it seems like there's something from, from every character so far. That's a memory, and there are trophies for every memory. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you want to check it out, it's running on the office computer. But oh. don't touch anything. Okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And actually, it's kind of fun. I didn't realize you were so good with computers. Is that what you're going to school for? Civil engineering. Or maybe robotics? It's a lot to figure out. Kind of crazy. Anyway, let's talk about something else. I saw Eleanor at the Black Lantern this morning. She probably needed a break from me. 
I've been nagging her all morning about getting one of those, like, medical alert buttons. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna be four hours away, and she's never lived alone before. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I have a really bad feeling, chat. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. Probably too embarrassed to show his face. What a pressure. I love that saying, Flippin' Penguin. He gives me shit every time I see him. I love that so much. I can't get out of this town fast enough. He's Stay an strong. asshole. He's such an asshole. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. Look, do we want to check on the computer? I really hope this works. Oh, this is the the checking the, of the pat. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I thought Eleanor left her password up on and like an email on the screen or something. Oh, 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 I didn't read the top where it, it was. It mentioned that it was hacking. I should have realized. Okay. All right, we're, unless there's a memory, we're gonna continue our adventure. There doesn't appear to be one here. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. Wait, where are you? Hey, where are you going? I'm sure there's not like any scrolls on the tables over here. Uh, I don't see any. All right, I think the only place left to go is the bridge. Ooh. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. I can't read that. I love oh, that they made shit. Ryan all the monsters. Troll. Incoming! He's got a soul jewel right there. Oh, oh, oh. you like my belt? <laughs> it's made of human skin. That doesn't look like human skin. <laughs> what do you think we should do? We've got, we've got the dust. <clears throat> the troll dust. Troll dust. <clears throat> Dusted trolls become very friendly. One pinch per troll. No, no. Don't you dare. Oh. <laughs> Jewel on your belt. Sure. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Ooh, slide chips. Else? That sounds amazing. We're on a quest. Anything you can do to help us out? Hmm. I could teach you to fight like me. There you go. <laughs> it's a very polite troll. New skill acquired. Class warrior. Skill. Strike of wrath. Type attack. Effect. Three damage. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Why don't you say something nice about each of us? Mm. You put a great deal of thoughtfulness and care into everything you do. 
And you... see deep into the hearts of people. But you don't let that stop you from believing in them. Ooh, like this got really very real. This troll is really emo. <laughs> no, yeah. no, Alex, that was really sweet. I think Shut that's up, all we Alex. need, right? We're not Alex, Ethan. Come visit again. Anytime. That was really freaking sweet. <laughs> We've got all three. Now I feel kind of bad that we're we're low key <laughs> we're low key romancing staff behind <laughs> Ryan's back. <laughs> uh, does anyone know how long the play slash game slash thing is going on? Is there still time to sign up? It looks super fun. <laughs> Sorry, dude, we're in pretty deep at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's too late, buddy. Sign up next Shit. time. That didn't take long. Uh oh. Lost one flash drive. I think I last had it when I was at the lantern earlier. Please, if anyone finds it, get in touch with me immediately. I am offering a reward. Keep an eye out. Thank you. Rough, hope you find it. What kind of reward? Do you have it? No, but depending on the re the reward, I'll take I'll try a lot harder to find it. <laughs> Haley Russo is me to T. <laughs> yeah, because we keep I, I expect there's there's probably two ways to proceed. We could probably actually fight them, or we keep finding the way of, of beating them without having to fight. <laughs> but I imagine there's gonna have to be a foe that we're gonna have to fight at the end. If not, we're just gonna finish up with like <laughs> twenty scrolls. I want to make sure there's no scrolls over here, so we can add to our arsenal. Yeah, we've been we've been very strategic. I'm all about the strategy. Also, how are we looking? Are we still we're still level one? Oh, it does update. So right now we have hypnotic fugue and horrid disharmony, and then Thanor has strike of wrath and fire blast. So we have all the stones. I don't think there's anywhere else to go. Maybe we just go back to the king now. You still you still angry, but oh, you are. So long ago. We're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out if the king is the bad guy. They say you've put the snake to sleep. Godspeed. Oh, hello. Oh my god. It's my mom. <laughs> Thanor, the monster slayer. You've come at last. Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Natheria. The forest spirit. You have done well on your quest. The forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look. There. Ooh, ooh. What is that? It's a fancy sword. The sky sword. It's the sky sword of power. It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics. Oh, that it's was got what the Ryan pincer was working on. And the same grip. And it's got this part for the jewels. How do they do it? I'm just here. I have no Can idea. I really take it? <laughs> Promise me you'll only use it for good. Helping others and stuff like that. 
Okay. That's so cool. Yeah, this is how Ethan sees the game. I also think it was very symbolic that he he threw down the old sword, like he let go of of um of your bro our brother's sword. Bard. Because the whole a song, if you please. The whole idea of this was that we were trying to help him get over what had happened, and I feel like that was symbolic of him letting that like fall to the wayside. The prophecies fulfilled at last. Now Thanos' might is unsurpassed. Uh -oh. Man, I want the I want the team that made this game to make a full JRPG in this style. This looks amazing. Is it going to be the king? Here's the moment of truth flipping penguin. <laughs> oh no, Stormrider. Oh, Stormrider is the king! You were right, you called it flipping penguin. I'll take that sword now. And the jewels! Stormrider, the undead! I should have known King Tabor was you all along! You fools! You have collected the jewels I need and brought them right to me! It was the Burger King all along. I knew we couldn't trust him. We've gotten this far. We can beat him. Yeah, we still have all our scrolls. Give them to me! Oh, hell yeah, here we go. Oh my god! Look at this! Freaking look at this! This is amazing! This is so freaking amazing! Alright, what items do we have? Scroll of advantage. I think it gives us an extra turn. I don't remember what all the scrolls do. Horrid harmony. Oh. The the Burger King is going down. This would they really they need to like even if they make like a DLC campaign or something for this game that's like an extra an extra LARP scenario where we get to just play it all as as Ethan. That would be amazing. Of wrath. Oh. This looks incredible. <laughs> yeah, so that that scroll of advantage gave us an extra move. Can I use another one? Scroll of advantage. We just keep getting more turns. Wait, right, we can. That's right. We can only use that once. Untuned cord. Fire blast would hurt the rest of the party. Burning blade. Wait, 
Do we have any more? We have scroll more. Of advantage. Yeah, we're just gonna keep. Why not? We're just gonna keep using the scrolls of advantage. <laughs> I forget what these do. It doesn't tell me what the moves do. That's healing. I don't remember what stirring him does. Hypnotic fuse. Hypnotic fuse. Oh. Well, I, I imagine in the in in the real world, like not inside Ethan's emotions, we're just fighting in the same way that we were the first time. Where we were just like swinging our swords and yelling what, what attack we were doing. Burning blade! Oh. I'm out of I'm out of scroll of, scrolls of advantage. Scroll of healing. I don't know that we necessarily needed that yet. But we can use, oh, we can use one item. Yeah, but that's just in that that's just in Ethan's mind. It was it was definitely wood. It was definitely wooden in a. Oh, oh, you mean he's swinging a wooden sword at him? Yeah, but I, I think they, because they were standing really far back. He wasn't like actually hitting. Even when we fought Ryan, as the, as the werewolf, we weren't actually hitting him. I mean, maybe we are. Who knows? <laughs> Untuned core. Oh! It was definitely wooden though, because Ryan was talking about carving something. And I imagine that that's what he was making. Burning blade. Oh. Transfixed by the gorgeous music. Ugh. <laughs> Curse this fire. Jed can take it. Scroll of nimbleness. Lose all my scrolls. I think that lets us avoid the next move, the next attack. Untuned core. Burning blade. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah, but we have nimbleness. Ha <laughs> ha. Curse this fire. Scroll of nimbleness. Untuned core. Oh. Use fire, okay. Fire blast. Oh. Ah. Sorry. Worth it. <laughs> He's getting real Cut angry. <laughs> oh, we beat him? Oh, we beat him. He didn't hit us once. <laughs> but the really wild thing is we could have picked, because she gave us the option for who we wanted the villain to be. We could have we picked that it. other villain, and then I can't believe what just happened. Jed would have had to have been someone else. So they had to program two versions of this fight. That last fight was epic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the best part was finding. Uh oh. Listen to me. It 
wasn't your fault. At all. It wasn't. Okay? It wasn't. I think we used almost all the scrolls. Yeah. Yeah, this, this game is full of the feels. This might be the end of the chapter. Oh, never mind. Charlotte? Back here? Yeah, might have. He seemed like he probably would have done a ton of damage with those lightning attacks. I wonder what would have happened if we lost. Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. It was a group effort, but I'm glad I could help. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of his hero. Well, he's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just... a lot going on. I don't mind you. At all. Do you want to talk about it? You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Are you sure? If you want company, I'm- Said no! Fuck, don't you listen? Oof. Shit. This was a mistake. Where did that anger come from? Oh, here we go again. Let's check our phone first. Uh, so much till he killed the award-winning bard material. Hell yeah! Oh, look at us look at us making look at us making moves. Look at us making making moves in our text messages with Steph. Del, we could have had. Oh, thank God! I was so worried. I was real worried that we wouldn't have any messages from Ducky. I'm real happy. Oh no! <laughs> this man is me in the future. I was just gonna say like paragraphs of text. Dear Alex, what a marvelous event. I'm so glad I could participate in today's live action role play. It brings me back to my days in theater. Did I ever tell you that I once essayed the role of fail staff in my school's production of the Merry Wives of Windsor? With enough liquor, liquid pro prodding, you may one day get me to recall a few verses. And thank you for including me in the festivities. It's nice to take my mind off things. Anyhow, you enjoy your very first spring festival. I can still remember mine clear as day. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. I, lo I love Ducky. I feel like including Ducky is helping him as much as it was helping Ethan. Yeah, with enough li li liquid. No, it says liquid. <laughs> with enough liquid. Oh, oh, I thought you were correcting me. I'm sorry, Lily. How are you, Lily? I love Ducky. <laughs> I can't believe Ducky wrote himself into a role where he could just be alone in the bar. 
I wonder how much alcohol he managed to polish off. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, wait, I haven't looked at You know what? We haven't... Uh... Is this new? Damn. Yeah, this is new. So, Ethan Joy... I guess I'm used to feeling like the whole world changes when I take on someone's emotions. But what Ethan's joy did to Haven, the way it lassoed the entire town and dragged it into his fantasy, I've never experienced anything like that. I actually felt Alex dissolve, uh, slaw off, and underneath was just Alexandra. It felt good to try on a different history, to remember a different life in a different world. But when the sirens came and Haven snapped back into focus, I don't think Fantasy Alex could have done what I did. Ethan didn't need her. He needed me. Hmm. Thank you so much for the lurk, Flippin' Penguin. I'm so glad you've been hanging out and you've been enjoying yourself. Lily, you're just chilling. Straight chilling. How's your day off? Did you get some sleep? That's really important. I hope you got some sleep. All right, here we go. Potential trauma incoming. The bots have been out in force today, Lily. They've they've been following everyone today. Apparently, there's something going on. The earlier stream I did, we got hit with like 40 of them. I banned all of them, like right off the bat, though. Whenever they would follow. Yeah. Word is that they've, like, kicked the bots into overdrive. Oh, that's okay. You got nothing to worry about. Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. What is that? Wait, is that a coffin? Ooh. Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. Wait, is that, is that supposed to be us? How, how is Stardew going, Lily? Ryan, it's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? She's so angry at everyone around her, but there's something else here. So that's, that's us. Is that, is that Ryan carrying Ethan, or is that an Ethan carrying another, or not Ethan, um, Gabe? Is that Gabe carrying another Gabe? It's Ryan carrying Gabe, okay. It was really hard to tell. But the hair, like, 
the hair here that doesn't match up. That does look like Ryan's hair, so it's Ryan carrying Gabe. Oh, there's someone. Oh, there's another person. Oh, hang on, we gotta find one more. There's another person. Doing MBA, welcome on in. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, my friend? Ethan, it's your fault. Why couldn't you just fucking listen? Uh oh. You're angry at him, at Ethan. You blame him. I'm a bad mom, Alex. Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte. I hate my son, Alex. He's sweet, and he's creative, and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then, Cape. I can deal with hating Ryan, or you, or even Gabe. But Ethan, if he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. It all comes back to that. What you're feeling makes more sense than you think. Your pain matters too. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. <sighs> I wish I were too. This anger could kill her and nothing I'm saying is helping. What if? I could just take it away. No, 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 that seems like a really bad idea. That seems like a really bad idea. I can do it. I can take her anger from her. Yeah, but at what cost? What would that do to her? What would that do to you? What would it do yeah. to me? And even if I can, should I? Oh no, no, Gabe, don't fucking do this to me! No! No, stop! Fucking stop, no! No, you can't! Oh! Oh my god, no! I don't... So here's my concern. Like, if we leave her alone and something bad happens, then that's on us. But if we take it away, something bad might happen anyway. I don't know... Oh, fuck, I don't know what to do! 
I want, I kind of want to take it away, because I feel like that's what the game wants us to do. I feel like that's the, the direction the game's pushing us in, is this is the next step. This is the next step in. Oh, wait, wait, it's, this, this has been, this is, this has been, this has been out the window real since the beginning. It hasn't stopped being, the only time it stopped being real is when we were, when we were LARPing for like an hour. <laughs> that was the only time it stopped being real. <laughs> All right, I'm doing it. I, we're, we're doing it. We're taking it away. We're doing it. I accept the consequences. Accept the consequences. This is on me. Sorry, Alex. Okay. Alex? <sighs> I'm okay. Oh, she's a Oh, all right. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I I think so. Shit. Did I freak out on you? I'm just, just, sorry, yeah, Alex. Just I'm a little bit just a tiny bit. Not sure what came over me. I still think there's going to be some consequence for that. It's really okay. I'm a big girl. I can take it. There's no way that was that was going to be that was a, as big of a decision as it made it, and there's not going to be huh. any consequence. I wrecked my sculpture. It seems so crazy in here, but I feel. How do I feel? Uh oh. Hey. Uh -oh. Go home. You're exhausted. I'm serious. It's okay. I'll see you tonight. That's right. The festival. Hmm. Bad feeling. Chad, I have a real bad feeling. Like, like real bad. Like, if bad feelings were on a scale of 1 to 10, this would be like a 42. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? Oh, maybe. That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom! Finally cracked it. Hey. Alex. I don't know. I think I thought we so, just took her anger, but maybe we took all go, her emotions. Charlotte? It was intense. But I think maybe she'll be okay. Honestly, I'm not sure how to even talk about it. That's okay. You don't have to. So, please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but... Alex... We found a recording of Gabe's call. I should probably listen to that. And that's enough evidence right there. I need to know. We're here. Yeah, what are we doing on our messages? Hey, Alex, it's Ethan. I'm really sorry about that. The LARP was amazing. Really, you are you are a badass. Okay. Oh, we got a new entry, Charlotte. Oh, oh, this is a this is a real meaty one. Uh, Charlotte, anger, some anger. Blisters like old film stock stuck in a projector. It eats you up from the inside, melts away everything else until all you are is a brittle shell and a boiling mass of blame and guilt. Make some art supposed to help, right? But it doesn't. Just fills your shop with reminders of what a shitty person you are. Don't know how I knew I could do it. 
It was just like suddenly noticing an extra limb somehow invisible until the very moment I thought to use it. I could reach inside, find Charlotte's anger, turn it down, turn it off. So it sounds like it was just a rant, but do we know that for sure? Because she didn't, she didn't know she could do this until like five minutes before. What if she turned off all of her emotions? God, it hurt so bad for a minute. I wanted to burn down the whole world. I wanted to burn down the whole world down. That's a typo. Sit down in the street and let the flames peel me away layer by layer. Instead, I swallowed it. I had to. Charlotte suddenly just... Fine. Or maybe not fine, but safe, at least, for now. I keep telling myself it was the right thing to do, the only option I had. But then I remember her eyes, the way they looked at me but didn't really see me. Yeah, fuck. I think we made the wrong choice. Anger is more than just anger. It's grief and sadness and rage and so many things that all swirl together. So you can't just pull out the anger. Oh, no. <laughs> I think we may have made a bad choice. But if we had just left her, she was talking about like how she wished she were dead and stuff. And that's not good. I don't know. I don't think there was. I think both. So here's what I, th I think. I think freedom. both decisions would have been okay. something bad. That's what I'm going to tell myself until I know otherwise. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Jen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. They just ignored him. <laughs> That's so fucked. So we have, we have evidence. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. We have evidence. Like, this, this is enough. Alex. You okay? We're gonna get him. I promise. I feel like that's enough to get him. <laughs> what uh -oh. the hell? Oh, it doesn't matter. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. He's... Is this the anger coming back out? The anger she absorbed? Fuck that. I don't need to take this. No! Steph was supposed to be our waifu. I should follow her. We'll be right downstairs, all right? I can't tell if this is the anger or if this is her own anger. is taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. What's that? Oh, we got... Just Mike. dropped a block of alabaster. On purpose. Because I wouldn't stop digging. In her shoes, I would wish for someone to take the anger away. But what does that leave after? She, oh, she didn't ask. She didn't specifically ask us to take the anger away. We kind of just took it upon ourselves. Uh oh. A key part of any good investigation. Oh yeah, that was the. If that happened to me, what's happening to Charlotte? That was the. That was important to Steph. Because that was the the foosball trophy that was a memory of of her and Gabe Brian brought this down from his station hope it comes in handy a cold case and a warm beer right. thanks for spilling your guts 
Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. So wait, it came through at 8.41. On what, on what day? Oh, here it is. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Chen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan. Lena, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. So Typhon thought Rhea, whatever that is, was worth risking that our lives. Rhea. Let's hope Diane's email sheds more light. Wait, hang on. What are all these other recordings? This is ACSD. How can we feed you? Is the good picking chicken thing still going on? It mm. sure is. Nice. Uh, let me get a large Ooh. order of the spicy nuggets. Oh, I want That's spicy nuggets. And would you like the biscuit and gravy or the mashed potatoes and gravy? No, no, just oh. the nuggets, please. Uh, okay. I, uh, sir? Oh fuck. Um, sorry. Do you do you need a minute? No, no, no. I'm uh gonna go with the bis uh, potatoes. Max, we're no, starting. Let's do potatoes. You could do both for fifty cents extra. Oh, oh my god. You still there? Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, no, that's okay. Just the potatoes. Yes, yeah, potatoes. Okay. I've got you down for a large order of spicy nuggets spicy with potatoes. Nuggets. That'll be ready for you to pick up in about thirty minutes. Thanks. That was riveting. <laughs> <laughs> Lace Flowers, this is Riley. How can I help you? Hey, Bev, it's me. Mac, hey, what's up? I'm on lunch. Oh, you're not going to believe what J-Man did this morning with some of the new diet. Hey, so I'm not sure about this part here. It's Mac. Is that Gabe? Hey, Mac, can we talk later? I'm kind of busy. Busy mm. now. Let's hang out when you get off, okay? okay so that's... Hold up, why is Gabe there? That's okay. how you found out that talk she's soon. spending time with Gabe. I love you. Wait, Riley. Oh, Mac. Hi, Belts Plumbing. How can I help you? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm of Typhon Mining. I think we had one of your plumbers up here last week. Typhon Mining. Uh, give me just one second to check our records. Yes, I have a record of a service call regarding some sewage backup. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's, yeah, so, um, I don't think it's fixed. The field report I have says that the issue was diagnosed and solved. Can you describe what you're seeing? Oh, uh, y you know, I, I really can't. Look, can you just send someone? I'll have someone out to you later this afternoon. Great. Have a nice day. Mm. Yeah, I doubt it. Nasty. <laughs> Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hi, Diane. It's Rose, down at Town Hall. Hey, Rose, how are you? Oh, I'm busy as a bee this time of year. You have a second? Some folks have come in here with some questions about the expansion and all that. I was hoping you could give me some answers to pass along to them. I'll do my best. What are the questions? Let's see here. Okay, first question. How many jobs do you expect oh, this to create was... by opening a second pit? These are the questions we'll that were asked on the, positions, on the Facebook post. But that number is expected to grow to 45 within the first year. Oh, give me just a moment here to jot that down. All righty. Next up, a uh, number of questions regarding risks for pollution. Water, air quality, etc., etc. Anything you can offer there? You know... Let me pass that on to our environmental outreach department. They'll get back to you with all the relevant fact and figures. Oh, sure, sure. No problem at all. And last one. They want to know if there will be more mining vehicles driving through town. Yes, we will be increasing our transportation needs somewhat with the expansion. But to minimize disturbance, we plan to direct drivers to stick to approved trucking routes. And of course, never after 6 o'clock. Never after 6. Thanks so much, Diane. That's all I have for you right now. My pleasure. Have a good one, Rose. You too. Diane is really good at pretending to be a person. Typhon Mining, this is Brandon. Hello. I'm calling from the Department of Land and Resources to confirm the inspection set for next week. 
Yeah, let me grab Diane for you. Thanks. This is Diane. Hi, Diane. I'm calling to... Confirm inspections? <laughs> yes. Did you have a chance to look over the email I sent? Uh -oh. I did. Everything looks great. Glad to hear it. I'll see you Thursday then. Mm-hmm. Have a good one. You too. There must be a lot riding on these inspections. All right, so this is the phone from Gabe. This is the phone from HQ. Lena. Hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? My emotions? Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think... I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Mm. Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good. Good. Only one point of contact, and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Mm. Speak to you soon. Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane in all this, but damn. Yeah, Diane was trying, at least. But there's some shit going on higher up in this HMB company. Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me... Yep. Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's so gross that Typhon has people watched. But that means they're having us watched. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic, and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. Mm, a simple okay, phone never call. Mind. Can you speak more about never that? Mind. Fuck of that course. Man. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blasts. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is, is it? for. Is it, though? There's no danger whatsoever. All right. Mm. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Yeah, me too. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Diane, it's, uh, it's Jason. Hello, Deputy. You have good news for me? I suppose I do. You are officially cleared to continue regular operation. Mm. The county no longer considers your pit an active crime scene. Well, that's a huge relief. Now, to be clear, the investigation is still open and active. Typhon hasn't been cleared of anything yet. Sure, I understand. But can we start mining again? Yes, you can start mining again. Is there anything else? Nope. No, that's it. Well, thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Diane. You too. Seems a lot easier to get away with murder than you'd hope. Typhon mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Is it me? Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 40 names. That's Great work. Guy. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane, can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just, well, we've all been following the news and, I don't know, after that accident. Joe? I just want to be sure there really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If you have qualified candidates to show me, I have jobs to offer them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday afternoon? Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package. Yeah, once we get done with them. Alright, emails. Uh, sender Dennis Walker. Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. To Diane. Okay, so these are all to Diane, I think. 
Hey, Diane, I want to congratulate you on your efforts in the Haven Springs expansion campaign. I just got word back from the state, and we've officially passed inspections. Pop some, some shant... Wait, are these like... Are these a link? Oh, hang on. Let me finish reading it first. Pop some champagne. You've earned it. All that's left now is the vote. I've been hearing great things about your progress with the town members. Sponsoring the Spring Festival was a nice touch. Keep up the great work. We're in the home stretch. Whatever Typhon was up to, it looks like they've all but gotten away with it. Of course, that was Diane's idea. I'm going to make sure this expansion fails if it's the last thing I do. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? We warned you, Lena. I fucking warned you. Rhea went off undetected, as you insisted, and now someone is dead. You better have a plan. I am not going down for this, at least not alone. Well, I understand that you're upset and emotional about tonight's tragic, unavoidable accident. Therefore, I am choosing to overlook this momentary lapse of judgment. I'll be calling first thing tomorrow to discuss how we move forward. I suggest you take the night to cool off. Oh, that was from Lena. That was the conversation. Rhea went off undetected. A second blast went off that night? What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea will be discovered. It was a diversion. They set off the blast that killed Gabe to cover up another Boy, one somewhere else. Emails. That's why they couldn't wait. Can I read the rest of the emails, please? I can find out where that okay, blast went you. off. It might tell me why it was so important. All right, hang on. I'm not. I'm not done yet. A second blast. That's a Bond villain type stuff. He had a name and a life and a girlfriend. And a sister. I bet this is when Diane decided to start copying evidence to this USB stick. Wow. That's a funny way to spell criminal negligence. Yeah, it was definitely avoidable. 100% avoidable. Damn. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? Through our recent conversation, I took the liberty of expediting your application to our executive training program. We will move forward with your enrollment as soon as you have the situation in Haven all wrapped up. What a polite way of saying, I control you and don't forget it. Situation? You mean that guy you killed? Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Oh, Diane, sorry to hear about the troubles you're having with your hauler. I spoke with some folks about getting the brakes fixed, but... Given the upcoming expansion, I've decided to go ahead and buy you a new one. We'll send you out a 789 hauler. It should be efficient enough to handle two pits. The bat guys say they'll have it there next week. Wait, does this mean someone at Typhon feels actual human emotion? Ooh, no. Shots Not buying fired. it. He's talking about it like it's a sure thing. Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so bureaucratic Hello, Diane I'm emailing to inform you that we've set a date for the inspections on your two sites please thoroughly review the info below we'll give you a call in the next couple days to confirm the details decommissioned coal shaft number 295042 inspection set for 430 2019 Inspection points will be going down into the closed shaft to ensure Typhon has taken power precautions to stabilize the land post-collapse and that proper shaft closure, closure, closure procedures was followed. Uh, active uranium pit number 403693 inspection set. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's said earlier that they're, they're mining for uranium. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, big corporations can do this shit all the time. I, it may, like, and I guess they, they're just not even remotely concerned. Like, there's a large paper trail of all the shit they're doing. The timing of all this is too convenient to be a coincidence. And I thought above ground mining was terrifying. Alright, so now we're going to the file browser. 
Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. That's not creepy at all. Pressure points, granddaughters. Oh, wait, what? Eleanor. Eleanor Leith, council member since 1998, business owner. Leith Flowers, vote status, probable. Pressure points, granddaughters, student loans, medical expenses. A native to Haven Springs, Eleanor Leith is well respected by council members and citizens alike. She holds considerable sway but is unlikely to dissent on her own, though her granddaughter was close to Gabe Chen. She appears not to question Typhon's account of the accident. So wait, let's... Typhon knows about Eleanor's dementia. Shit. Uh, Jedi and Lucan, council member since 2008, council chair since 2012, business owner of the Black Lantern, boat status secured. Pressure points not available. Jed is viewed as a local hero due to his rescue of 19 hell divers during a collapse in 2008. Strong ally use him as a resource to secure other council members. Votes if necessary. It won't be so secure once we tell Jed what really happened that night. Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. Charlotte Harmon. Council members since 2016. Business owner Silver Dragon Dispensary. Vote status unknown. Pressure points business overhead. Sons College Savings. A well-known small bit. Oh, no. We, we let her take the freaking money. Fuck. A well-known small business owner in Haven. Charlotte would prove instrumental to getting... The buy the buy-in of both uh, uh, both other business owners and the twenty to thirty-five demographic. As Gabe Chen's girlfriend, she may be a lost cause. Corporate approved making a financial offer. You'll receive the details soon. Ah! Uh, I knew that affidavit gave me a no, bad feeling. We shouldn't have had her sign it. I'm now realizing all our bad decisions. Oh no, Ducky! McAllister Reginald III, Ducky, council member since 2001, vote status probable, pressure points, D grief over deceased wife, estranged relationship with daughter, we've been able to dig up very little about Ducky's past, but we do know that he arrived in Haven shortly after resigning from the board of his own company due to a falling out with his daughter. Ducky has voted with Jed in every prior instance, making his vote all but secured. Poor Ducky. I didn't know. And then Jason Pike, council member since 2003, vote status unknown. Pressure points, career as sheriff's deputy. Seems to have a crush. Wait. Seems to have a crush on you. Oh, on Diane. Jason Pike has been a sheriff's deputy in Haven. For over eight years, he and the company have skirmished over small violations in the past, but we see no evidence he harbors anti-Typhon sentiment. Double down on Typhon's commitment to the community, that's likely your best name. What? Pike has a... Okay. Bigger fish to fry right now. All right. Oh, here we go. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. There's a map right there. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. What is Rhea? Are we getting some Why would they set off shit? a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? Didn't Typhon just have inspections around the old site? They weren't mining for anything. They were burying something. Hmm. I'm getting some I'm getting some like Stranger Things vibes, Bo. And I mean this is a world with people that have superpowers. Yeah, and there was the supernatural hurricane. Well, the, the hurricane was a result of us changing so much stuff. But, I, I mean, this is a world where people... With, oh, this is the end of the chapter. This is a world where people with superpowers exist. So who's to say there's not other things out there? 
All right, we missed. We didn't. I should have waited to read the re, the Raya article because there were other things we could have read. Uh, let's see. So Alex chose Steph to to distract Diane instead of Ryan. Oh, most people chose Steph. Uh, Alex took Charlotte's anger from her. Oh, see, this one was this one was almost fifty fifty. This was a close one. 56% took the anger from her. 44% left Charlotte with her anger. I, oh, I, I'm really, I really want to know what that's going to do. Um, Alex made Diane sad. Alex made Diane angry. Oh, we could have made Diane sad instead of angry. Chaos pack. Hell yeah, sleepy. Let me get you chaos pack. I think I think we're gonna we're gonna find out though. I think we're gonna find out what's going on. I don't know if it's gonna be tonight. As much as I, if I if we weren't recording a podcast in twenty minutes, I would probably keep playing this all night because I'm so freaking invested. There you go, sleepy. Uh, Alex listened to Kings of Leon in the apartment. Well, we didn't listen to anything in the apartment because we have copyrighted music turned off. We didn't listen to anything. <laughs> uh, oh, Alex did some weeding on the rooftop. Oh, it's like a 50-50 split on whether people did weeding on the rooftop. Uh, Ethan and Alex were never knocked out in battle. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, it looks like most most people didn't get knocked out in battle at all. Because 0% Ethan was knocked out in battle. And bear in mind, this game has only been out for a little bit over 48 hours. So, um, actually, not even... It, this game hasn't even been out for 48 hours yet. So, not too many people have played it so far. But Ethan was knocked out in battle, 0%. Alex was knocked out in battle, 1%. Both Ethan and Alex were knocked out, 1%. Oh hell yeah, I definitely will. Um if I if I think of it, maybe I'll just broadcast it when I replay it with the music turned on, maybe I'll just broadcast it to Discord. Hey Night Owl, how you doing? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. You're a little bit. I think we what was this, chapter three? We just finished chapter th Wait, or is this chapter four? What chapter was this? I think it was chapter three. Uh, let's see. The troll was killed in battle. Oh, a lot of people killed the troll in battle. Only 35... Oh, only 35% used the magic powder. The troll took Alex's bride. To Is it supposed to be the troll took Alex as its bride? Because who would be Alex's bride? Unless it's referring to Steph. I think it's... The troll took Alex as its bride, which would have been like the alternative to us propo essentially proposing to Steph. The serpent was put to sleep. Oh, that was a 50-50 split almost, too. Bra- oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bo. I'm sorry. It took Alex's bribe. We, we could have bribed it. I don't know why I thought- I don't know why I thought it said bride. I'm sorry. I have moments of like- <laughs> minor dyslexia where i look at a word and it's like yeah that's the word and it's not it's a similar word but it's not i'm so sorry <laughs> uh alex or steph stormed out of the apartment steph helped alex find out what typhon was up to i really wonder i really wonder if us taking the anger from charlotte was what caused us to be so angry in that moment. Hopefully that didn't fuck things up with Steph. This game is freaking fantastic, Night Out. This game is so good. I am completely blown away by this game. Uh, King Tabor was vanquished in the final battle. King Tabor vowed to return for his revenge. Zero percent. Uh, Riley found out about Eleanor's dementia. Oh, I wonder how she could have found out. Hmm. Oh, maybe if we didn't help her. Maybe if we didn't help her in the last chapter. 
Alex helped the student focus on her work. Alex didn't play the song. No. Uh, we didn't solve the jester's riddle? I thought we did. Uh-oh. Alex and Ethan helped the blacksmith with his work. Hell yeah. Okay, so, um, I don't think, yep, no. Friends, fr my, like, four friends on PlayStation, play this game so I can look at your... <laughs> I'm gonna go roll on to Nick. We got, we got about 20 minutes so I can keep going before I have to hop off to go record the Beardy Bunch podcast. Chapter four, okay, it's chapter four. So there's, there's two more chapters. There's five chapters. I saw in the in the trophies when I was going through that there was ch five chapters. Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right, bring it with you. Hope I'll you, meet you in an hour. I hope you made a copy. Thanks. Talk soon. I really hope you made a copy. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. Oh. At Haven's inaugural spring festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What, what can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost age. the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. Yeah, and an giving, even better way to say, hey, look, a rose. We're giving a rose to Steph. We gotta fix Sounds things. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Yeah, hell yeah, why not? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. You can decide right now, because we're definitely gonna do it. I'm deciding for you. <laughs> I'm in control. For now, I have I'll the controller. All right. Go to Spring Festival, wish I could be there, but at least I'm getting crazy good work done on the next co the next day, Nord Comic. Hell yeah. Sweet, what's happening in this issue? So this one takes place immediately after the last chapter. There's no time skip like the previous chapters. No spoilers, but Thanor finds a gate to the underworld. Ooh, and fights the king of demons. Oh snap, that actually seems like a pretty big spoiler. That's the first page. <laughs> uh, okay, group text. Uh, distract, distract. Okay, that was when she was distracting Diane. There was a second blast the night of the accident. Typhon's old mind was involved. Been trying to hide something. Ryan, holy shit. Ryan, Steph and I want to hear everything. We're at the stage. Meet us when you're ready. Yeah, there's so many, so many social media posts. So we're going to officially be returning to our normal hours of operation tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe that's maybe maybe what we did to Charlotte wasn't such a bad thing. Maybe that was because we helped her. I want to believe that it's a good thing. Guess the festival started a while ago. Spring festival has begun. First up, we have our annual chili cook-off. I approve. I approve. The annual chili cook-off gets two thumbs up of approval from GA Chili. Later on, we'll have live music, a jelly bean guessing contest, and a raffle. As well as food, drinks, and a bonfire. Let's kick spring off right. Chili beer and jelly beans. Thanks, everyone, for another excellent spring. Fa oh, we missed the chili cook-off. Oh, we missed the chili cook-off. Oh, I'm definitely going to check and see what kind of outfits we hit, we've got for this, this chapter. Well, you got yourself some good food. Hell yeah, Anna. Hell yeah, what kind of food did you get? Killer Chili Mike, remind me to get the recipe for the lantern. <laughs> you wish. Mike Lawler is a is, is straight up a dick. Steph did a really great job putting all that together. And shout out to everyone who helped out with the LARP. I think we really helped boost Ethan's spirits, and I had a great time too. Jesse had a blast. Hector Gonzalez, me too. We should definitely do it. Who is Hector Gonzalez? Have I met him? Oh, ducky. Is that what the... Mike Lawler! <laughs> get, out of, get out of our messages. Ooh, pancakes. Hell yeah, Anna. That sounds so good. I love me some pancakes. Kind Haven listeners, we are now live at the Spring Fest. Swing by our trailer in the park to grab some raffle tickets and maybe win some merch. 
Sweet. And make sure to stick around and keep your eyes on the main stage. We have something special brewing in this game that's very ominous. Uh, okay, so there's no more. Charlotte was the last one. All right. Uh, but I want to look at... I think I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. I'm thinking this will make an excellent after-festival snack. Maybe put it in the fridge then? Yeah, this one ornament will really bring my tree together. Ah, string lights. The key to unlocking the cozy places subreddit. What oh. are the chances your instruction manual is in here? Not good. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Pretty, but not very Gabe. Why does he have this? Looks like the festival is already in full swing. Where is it? I'm pretty how nervous. Do you, how do you tell that? Where is the festival? I remember trying to pregame as a teenager and just going to sleep instead. <laughs> Happy Spring Festival, Gabe. It's very tempting to curl up with this all night instead of leaving my I apartment. Agree, but it's very tempting to keep playing this game all night. Man, the latest issue gets oh, dark. Son of a I'm sure Ethan will be fine. When did I become such a fucking monster? Whoa. What was that? I can still feel some of Charlotte's anger uh -oh. from before. Uh-oh, it's still inside of us. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. That wouldn't be a bad thing. I'm about ready to start my own list. All right, that's the USB stick. We'll see what outfits we get for today. <gasps> Chat. Mr. Hot Dog! Or Hot Dog, what was his name? Hot Dog Boy? Hot Dog, hot dog Man? That's a reference to, to the second game. You better believe we're rocking, we're rocking the hot dog man. Will you be my date to the festival, Shoo Shoo? You better believe it. We're, we're. The world really doesn't deserve Feynor. Don't worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always makes me feel better and we have a lot of plans for the summer. Oh, he's gone all summer. He said he can, we can go camping and make ultra s'mores, s'mores but with ice cream on top. Secret family recipe. The LARP was amazing. You are a really good bard, and I hope we can do it again soon. I already have more ideas to fill out your backstory. Banshees! Ooh. All right. Yeah, look at it. Check it out. Check out that glizzy. Check it out. What was it? I think it was Hot Dog Man. I've been playing more It was these like past the, the cartoon in the comics the last from, few years. from Life is Strange 2 Feels that, nice. that Daniel was really into. There have been a lot of Life is Strange 2 so references in the outfits, but not too many Life I is Strange 1 references that I picked it. up on. Unless they've just gone over my head. Okay, I think we're ready. Oh. Alexandra the Bard will ride again. Anything to look at. To our memory lands? I don't think so. So let's grab. The USB. Okay, time to head downstairs. And joining us this evening, dear. Yes, this is one party I'm willing to brave. We'll make it as painless as possible. Okay, hell yeah. Test, test. Check, check. Check. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll go for another 10 minutes and then I'll, I'll wrap Holy up. shit, you own a skirt? Hey, guys. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I need to apologize to you guys. What happened in the apartment, something really messed me up. Hearing Gabe's voice, I wasn't ready for that. I thought I was, but uh, it's the same old story. I lose control and I hurt the people I care about. I'm sorry. Yeah. Fuck that. If anyone needs to apologize, it's me. Ever since we've met, you've been there for me. And then when you're the one struggling, I bail. Not cool. I'm really sorry. It's totally fine. But I still owe you a new trophy. Let's play for it. Not to spoil the moment, but... Typhon blew up their own mine. Why? I don't know yet. But we have all the evidence we need to nail them for Gabe's death. Yeah, we do. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once really... he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Unless Typhon. Get here first. Hence the celebration. Really <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. Drive. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Oh, rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Text me when it's ready. All right, we gotta... If I wanted to give away a rose. Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Are there other wait, are there other anyway, people we can give out roses? To? Time to enjoy the festival. Happy Spring Festival, at Haven Springs Community. Thanks for letting us celebrate. Get out get get out of my get out of my social media, Typhon. Get fucked. Um, alright. Before can we give one to both? Oh, that's that's a good question. That I mean, if there is if there is a hair a potential harem ending to this, I'm on board. <laughs> um, before we start like digging into the the festival, I'm gonna call it a night here so that we're we're going into the festival fresh next time. Um, I'm guessing this is a checkpoint. I'm hoping. I can't imagine there's not a checkpoint right at the start here. So um, that's where I'm gonna wrap up for tonight. I might do, so the plan, make the stream show, I enjoyed the hell out of myself. Oh, Bo, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you're having fun. Hang on, I'm going to jump over on the full screen. Um, I'm so glad that you're having fun and you're enjoying it, because I'm, I'm so intrigued to find out what's going on with, like, the rest of the story. Uh, we are doing Phasmo with the wonderful, the amazing Empress Lily tomorrow evening. Um... If I, if I can get myself out of bed <laughs> at a reasonable hour, I might do a bonus stream again just so I could play a couple more hours of this and get a little further into the mystery because this is like... <laughs> I'm freaking... In. They did such a fantastic job. They did such a freaking fantastic job. Dad didn't do a raid at the end of his stream to be safe with all the with all the bots. Alright, I won't, I won't raid. Um, I did raid, I did raid dad earlier, but I don't know if that carried the bot. I think the bots are just out there. I think they're just out in the world at this point. I think everyone's getting hit. Lily, Lily only, has only streamed like one or two times before, and you said you were getting hit by the follows too. I think they're just, they know, they know they're, that Twitch is working on something, and I think they've just stepped up their game. Um, here's something interesting, and I didn't know this. 
I didn't know this before. I'm jumping back on. Apparently, there's a DLC coming out that's going to be Steph's story. So we're getting a DLC that's going to be all about Steph. I don't know when that's coming out, but we are getting a DLC that's all about Steph. Um, which should be really interesting, because I really enjoy Steph's character. I didn't buy the Deluxe Edition that includes that, but I think it's only like 10 bucks for the DLC. Um, so as soon as that comes out, we'll be playing that too. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, potentially a bonus stream tomorrow, if I can if I can crawl out of bed. Oh, I, Steph is my favorite. We're definitely giving Steph a rose. If we can give them both a rose, I'll give them both a rose, because why not? But if we can only give a rose to one of them, I'll, we'll give one to Steph, and then we'll do the we'll do the Ryan path when I play through on the Discord with music. Oh, Night Owl, thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out. Uh, we're not gonna raid tonight because there's been some weird stuff going on with bots, and I'll try and not pass that on to anybody else. Usually we'd be we'd send all the lovely folks hanging out onto another one of our streamer friends, but. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try and not, I'll try and contain any of the bots that might still be hanging out. Are there any in the list? The viewing list? See, I promise I don't know, like, there's, there's bots that are always here. And then there's bots that you always see, like, feet. Who is feet? That's definitely a bot. Um, oh, Commander Root is the, is the bot, the, that program that everyone uses. So I don't, like, there's no way to tell. I always know what the Haas is, but... Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap up here. Thank you so much, everyone, for stopping by, for hanging out, for indulging me on this wonderful adventure. Because I know it's these kind of games are tough. If you jump in like partway through, it's hard to jump in and watch a game partway through. Luckily, a lot of the folks here have been hanging out since the beginning. So we've been experiencing this whole story together. Uh, if you haven't been here for the whole thing, I don't usually tell folks to go back and watch VODs, but this is one that I highly recommend. If you're, if you're enjoying the parts of the story you've seen and you haven't been here for the whole story, go back and watch the, the last couple days worth of VODs because this game is freaking fantastic. Uh, I recommend you check, you peeps check out Ghost Pepper. Hell yeah, absolutely check out Ghost Pepper and Flutter Die. If you're not already following Ghost Pepper and Flutter Die. Um, what are you doing with your life? They're fantastic individuals. Just pop on over there and say hello to them if they're... Are they live right now, Bo? If they are, pop on over. You're going to check out the... Yeah, this game is fantastic, Night Owl. I, I, usually I don't tell folks to go back and watch the VODs of things, but this game has blown me away. This, is, this has been such a fantastic experience. Uh, I am going to hop off because we're, we're going to be recording a Beardy Bunch podcast momentarily. Um, otherwise I'd probably go for another three hours. <laughs> honestly, if, if we weren't recording, I'd probably honestly finish the game tonight. Cause that's how invested I am right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hop on off. Everybody have a fantastic evening. Possibly I'll, I'll be live in the afternoon tomorrow playing some more of this. So if you're enjoying this and you want to pop in and watch some more, um, I might jump on and do a bonus stream in the afternoon to do a couple more hours of this. We're definitely doing some phasmophobia at our normal, normally scheduled stream time, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And we're going to be joined by the wonderful Empress Lily. So, uh, oh, Hotline, Hotline, I'm so sorry I missed your message. Hotline, have, did I miss earlier messages from you? Or have you, just been, or have you just been hanging out? I'm really sorry if I did miss any messages from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a fantastic evening. All right, everybody have a great night. Night Owl, Anna, Bo, Lily, if you're still here, Hotline, anyone else that might be lurking, you've just been lurking, hell yeah, I really appreciate that. Anyone else that's lurking, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Go check out Ghost Pepper, go check out Flutter Die. I'm not going to raid just in case we, we could potentially pass bots on to them. Because uh, for all I know, I passed the bots on to Andrew because I raided Andrew. So for all I know, I might have been the one that passed them on to him. Because uh, after the, the earlier stream, I looked at the, the number of followers we got during the stream, and it was like 40 bots, so it was real shitty. They don't count toward the follower count, though, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, anyway, have a great night, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow.